Really? There's only one question that I have. What do you Google when you're looking it up? Do you Google like butcher? Are you literally <laughs> typing in meat store? <laughs> yeah. If you type in meat store, you're going to see some dicks for sure. There's no way that you see dicks. <laughs> there's no way. There's no way. Even with no safe search on in the world, there's no dick that would show for meat store. <laughs> Those meat sound store. like dick and balls there and shit for Damn, real though. What the fuck? <laughs> like not yeah, human, obviously, what? but not human dick and balls, obviously. <laughs> do they, do they, uh, <laughs> is it like a pawn store? Can you go in there and sell? What? <laughs> Negotiate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a pair of dick and balls. <laughs> The Hawaii smoke, the, the Hawaiian guest. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode 45 of Pine Park After Dark. I'm your host, Derek Kong. We got Tim from Secret Session on the other side of the table. And in the middle, second time around, I think, third? Second. I feel like you're just always over here, so I don't know when you're like yeah, on, the on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the homie, though, second official episode. Let's motherfucking go. Barney, yeah. thank you so much for being here. At Barney has <clears throat> blueprint. You know what it is. I love it. Thank y'all for inviting me again. Of I course. may hang out here more than I care to admit because I like <laughs> hanging out with these people. It's but. a good time, man. It's a good time. We got a good episode lined up today. A lot of smoke. A lot of smoke sponsored by the kind people over at King Palm, man. Mm-hmm. They have a new line of products right here. A lot of people talking about the King Palm uh, wraps. They don't like the, you know, some people don't like the way they smoke. Everyone's got a different little preference. But now they said no. We're going to make you smoke our shit. So they got papers now, man. Three different size papers with their signature squeeze and pop filter. We got King Kiwi, Banana Foster, Cherry Vanilla flavorings. Stuff and smoke, man. Stuff and smoke. Just like the original King Palace, but a little bit. Oh, smell crazy? Smells fucking crazy. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to. I'm going to stuff one Do you put banana terps in the banana? Yeah, they are. uh, The filters are terp infused, so they have their little signature at the tip. You don't have to necessarily do it if you don't want to. (laughs) <laughs> oh, that's like actually like a banana it literally smells like a banana like i was not actually, ready for all that bro. that was like nah, a real chill, chill, chill. Nah, chill. oh whoa <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it literally smells like a banana it's, it's got like funk in there that's how banana it is that's, whoa that's pretty trippy i like bananas man that's kind of trippy yeah, like you I, a banana fan yeah i made Plantains. banana pancakes the other uh the other day oh banana yeah. pancakes okay right. important question have you guys heard of apple bananas are they crisp no, I don't know. I don't think good, I have. Good question. There. That's, okay. like, that's like my first guess. Chris. So <laughs> apple banana in nah. Hawaii, they have a thing called apple bananas and they're way sweeter. They're a little bit smaller and like it makes other bananas taste like mids. Can you just eat the whole thing or do you have to peel it still? You still got to peel it. It's oh. like a normal banana. <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like wrapped in an apple. It's like it's apple flavored banana somehow. Hmm. I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. We need an apple flavor. The banana trips are where it's at. Where, where can people get these? How do, how do we get these? At how do we get these? com. You can use our code Pine Park. Ooh. That's P I N E P A R K for 30% okay. off your order, man. 30% is kind of juicy. That's pretty juicy, bro. Not Sometimes not we get those little 15. Like that. Yeah, it's like, the, it's like the code that they give when you first click on and you put up your email and you get 15% off. Yeah, it's like, like give, give us a little more percent. Give us that 30. King Pump. King Pump. They know what they're doing. That's what I'm saying. Shout out King Palm for the people. They got products for every type of smoker, man. Let's go. Shout out King Palm. <coughs> I'm going to roll one up, actually. Give me a Kiwi Yeah, you please one? do. Oh, so there's different sizes here, too. Let's, <laughs> make, let's mention that. You was there's different go ones. For Kiwi. So there's the, the dog walkers. Yeah, the, the tiniest walkers. ones. Then and then the these are the one on fours. And then what do you got over there? The king size. The king man. size. So they offer them three different sizes. Um, King, there's, there's three no different flavors. Size, huh, of anything. It's kind of. Yeah, it's kind of effed up. It is fucked up. What the hell? They should make the queen size. That'd be nice. Buy them a little thicker. Hey. Like Lizzo type shit. <laughs> oh, she is a queen. Bro. Hey, we need Lizzo on the show, man. That'd oh, that would be a banger. <sighs> I listen to Lizzo every morning. Nice. It's on my son's like playlist. Oh, <laughs> no, I love it. It's real. I love it. It's just like part of the deal. Nice. And they yeah. have like edited versions, so it's like for kids. So there's like <laughs> no nothing. Shot. There's like nothing it's like negative. Kids, it's in like it. a kids' bop version. But of like it. I'm definitely kids' bop was crazy. I feel special when I leave the house for sure. Like it's nice. the, part of the fun. It's confidence inspiring music. It's it good. really is. Yeah. Um, Snoop Dogg also made children's music. Wow, dude. Snoop Dogg. Okay, Snoop Dogg does everything. Let's yeah, just he, he, do. he does literally everything. Text. He will not turn down a promotional thing if the money there. Snoop Dogg is showing Duty. up. He's a hard worker. Call, <laughs> Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Duty Phase <laughs> Clan. <laughs> he got cereal. 
You guys seen the cereal? Hey. He got healthy cereal now. No Ooh, sugar in it. it just, he just launched in all Walmarts. Look, it's an ad for Snoop Dogg now. Damn near. I'm telling you, Snoop Dogg's all about the kids, though. Snoop, 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 Snoop for the kids. Yeah, Snoop for the kids. For Snoop sure. for the kids, bro. Like Come on. Sure. Uncle Snoop. What are you yeah, going to do? Yeah, he's the Lakers games and everything, too. Good guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm team Snoop pretty heavy. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not going to lie about it. <laughs> pretty legendary, man. <laughs> legendary dude for damn sure. What happened during the week? Man, we got some news this okay, week, huh? Okay. Some news this week. We'll start with the little Amsterdam smoke. Yes. Amsterdam will partially ban marijuana smoking. That sounds weird. The City weird. Council of Amsterdam this week voted to impose a fine of about 100 pounds. Euro. Yeah, uh-huh. euros. I'm tripping. Hang on. I was like... <laughs> Is it pounds or euros? I, I, thought, I thought this said 102, and I was like, wait, is that a right conversion? I thought it was a little different. Yeah, 100 euros. There we go. On anyone who smokes weed on the streets of Marseille, Lutis. Oh, my God. Oh, I, was, I, was, I, was like, I thought you were going to one-tap that. I was like, no way. That's no gotta fucking be, way. That's got to be Marseille, right? There's no way it's I mean, you're, you're it. it might be. I don't fucking know. Although, like, the Dutch Lutis. words do have, like, a hard to it. You know what I mean? Like, that's a tough language. Lutis. Okay, so Lutis. that's a tough language. There's a place called, it's spelled D E N. H A A G. Don Hosh. So, how it's exactly. So, okay. when we were in Amsterdam, I was like, <laughs> I'm at Den Haag. I thought I was pretty close. And my friend was like, No, no you're at Den Haag. And I was like, oh, Okay, that's pretty close. Nice, nice. And then we meet our friend from Dutch, and it's like, Den Haag. Yeah, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, like, yeah, I know yeah, that was yeah. terrible, but like, I'm just my bad. But that was really what it felt like. So, that could be like Mark Graf. Yeah. Or like Lucien or something. I don't know. I'm not so, going to my bad, what, everybody. What, what is this district? Is it a, is it's it a small, central district? Is it small? Is it massive? <laughs> So it's the red light district. Okay. So you can't smoke weed in the red light district anymore what? or you That's get fined. Crazy. Now, is this because they just want people smoking in the coffee shops or was that where they would prefer people to smoke? Or do we have any more information? Like why mm. would they not want them smoking in public? Is it, I've never been to, to Amsterdam, so I don't know. Yeah, like, me when, is, are people just smoking weed walking around? Like, I don't, I don't know if that's a thing like regularly already. Like are people like if you just walk if you're riding your bike in Amsterdam are people just blowing fucking smoke down the so street? So it is all frowned upon to smoke weed like walking around Amsterdam. They do prefer you to be inside of your home or inside of a coffee shop. Okay, it's not necessarily illegal from when I was there, but when I was there it was like 15 something years ago. So it's been mm-hmm. a minute. But people would be like, you know, like dude, have some respect type of thing. For sure, it's also just like is that the kind of vibe? they don't smoke that much out there. So it's not even it's like different. it's respect. It's respect. Like it's almost the same rules as tobacco. Like it doesn't smell good. Why would you do it outside? Yeah, okay, and 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 I hear that. I totally hear that. What if you're at like a park or something in Amsterdam? Can you like light a joint up? Yeah, I mean, I don't same like, thing. Same I live along next to a cop in Amsterdam just to see what would happen because no. I was younger and not the smartest person in the world. Um, and nothing happened. No, um, they kind of gave crazy. me like a sideways look, but like it was like, dude, this stupid American, which is not something I'm unfamiliar <laughs> with. Is this uh, is this more info right <laughs> here? What do we got, Eric? Um, any uh, anything that uh, expands on this a little bit? Because it's just why sad. is this step taken? Let's yeah. see. Amsterdam Mayor Femke Hales, ha- Halsema has been advocating for a reform in the red light district while aiming to reduce nuisance behavior and organize crime in the city center. Okay. The authorities are also considering to relocate the red light district oh. away from the city center. I feel like that would make sense. Like hmm, that's you know, not good for business. Yeah, that's true. You want it to be. In the cut, though, in the middle of the desert. Did nah, you go? You, when you visit back in the day? What is it? What is the sound of the no, video? I mean, 15 years ago. Red Light District. Like, so I, one of my greatest mistakes is uh, I did not visit the Red Light District. Uh, um, I was young. I thought it was bad. Um, what? What did you go there for? Just I was traveling visit. with a friend of mine to like do like a memorial for my roommate who passed away, which oh, is nice. like a terrible thing. But, you know, these things happen. Uh-huh. Right. Um well, we traveled to Europe, through Europe to like go check out other stuff. Cool. Um, but it's kind of a dope way to yeah, celebrate. Yeah, that is a dope yeah. way. Yeah, it was, you know, pretty dope. It's kind I of mean, fucking cool. And like my name is Barney and I got to go to Barney's in Amsterdam. So Ooh. that was cool too. Right. Barney's. What is Barney's in Amsterdam? It's like one of the original like big grow seed spots. So like for weeds they're famous for is like the Sweet Tooth. Oh. Um, like if you've never heard of Sweet Tooth, like look it up. One of the more famous sativas. So was it, a, it was a coffee shop you were able to go to? Yeah. So a coffee shop, like same time as like Selma and all the other guys that were like nice. the gray area and all that stuff. It was Can kind of sweet. sell coffee or is that just like a code name? No, they had coffee, you have breakfast. It's oh. dope. Like you literally go in there and like have a nice morning and smoke some weed. Oh, fire. Um, Very nice. Super fire. Hold on, but let's, what, let's, let's scroll in here. What, what else, what else do we have going? There's gotta be some more info on this uh, thing because they say, quote, the ban is part of a broader set of measures aiming to reduce nuisance, improve the residents night sleep and increase the livability and safety. What the Ugh. fuck? 
While cannabis is not legal in the Netherlands, the Danish people are allowed to keep up to five grams of the recreational drug. And their licensed coffee shops are allowed to sell small amounts of the drug to people over 18. Ah, it's a good age. It's nice. It's nice. It's, it's interesting, so though, that it says that it's, uh, it's not legal, <laughs> right? Because a lot of people just assume you hear Amsterdam, you're like, oh, it's weed's got to be legal there. It's the weed capital of the world. That's what, you know, you, you hear, you'll hear those references because you hear the coffee shops and stuff, but it's, it's definitely, uh, it's not legal still. And you can still get in trouble for it. I don't think you can cultivate it legally. It was like stricter for sure. It yeah. was definitely looser before. Like when you went? Yeah. Like okay. there was, I was, I was not buying small amounts. <coughs> um, I mean, everybody's definition of small amounts is different, but I was. You weren't buying like the, the, the five, legal five, the five grams. grams. I mean, <laughs> I did, but I bought it multiple times with multiple strains, yeah. multiple coffee shops for yep. multiple days. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So easy. So it's, I mean, it's the same thing here, you know, like you're allowed to buy an ounce of weed recreationally here, Jeez. but I can go to fucking 10 stores. Yeah. Like, what's up? 100%. I got 10 ounces. Suck it. Yep. Just a lot of taxes. It's horrible. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can hopefully, only imagine. Hopefully there's a sale. <laughs> there we go. Does uh, it say that's not a form of tourism we welcome or, or don't? don't welcome? What the fuck? It's a form of behavior. So they're just like, we can't stop it, but I think we'll it's see. more like, okay, okay. Okay. I think it's more, they just don't want people being dicks about it. They want people to respect it. People coming here to lose their morals is a problem for us. What is it? Oh, they want people to come there and like fucking yeah. get high. Yeah, no, exactly what that, they said right here. But isn't Look, that why people like be going to Amsterdam? It's just it's fucking getting high. It's they are against the image of the freewheeling little image that they have a spot for vacation for those wanting to engage in no strings attached sex and consuming recreational I mean drugs. you I have like coffee that shops anyway. that sell weed and you have a red light district a red light district where you can fucking have sex oh. <laughs> like <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about how are you not advocating for that if you didn't want it you'd have to shut it down right so I let's mean, you can't play both sides like, what are we doing here? I think all drugs should be legal. They should, you should have the red light district. Fucking, what are we talking about? Shouldn't they dig in? Like, you are the Vegas of Europe. Yeah. Like, let's go. Yeah, what are y'all doing? Do you like, think there's oh, pressure from, like, the, the citizens? Oh, no, hit us. What do you got? What Different do you got? news. Uh, the first uh, cannabis-friendly hotel is opening up in Vegas in, like, a couple weeks. No way. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That sounds, interesting. that sounds cool. Are you is going? it on the strip? Yeah, hopefully. They send him, I sent him a little email. Yeah, like, they should probably reach like, out. Yeah, what's that? Is it, uh, is it on the strip? It is not. Slightly off the strip. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. not that and far. there's no casino, which is kind of lame. It's just a hotel. You can just get high, though. Yeah, you can get super big there, which is pretty cool, I guess. I mean, fuck, you don't have to worry about paying that fucking extra fee of like, you know. Sometimes. So, Some of the hotels, it's like $250, $500. They're like, what's up? You smoked weed in here. You're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they don't do what all the weed, like the West Hollywood spots did here where you have to only smoke products you bought from them. Oh, that'd be crazy. Oh, that'd they're be, like searching your bag if you brought <laughs> weed. Oh, fuck that hotel. If they ever do yeah, that, dude, that, that hotel can get nuts. wrecked. Nuts. Feel me? That's, that's like, the hey, only whoa, one. Whoa, is that fucking green dog in your bag? Get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> fucking it's get it out of here. You can only smoke <laughs> mids here. You're right in the what desert. What the fuck? No, that would be a, that would literally be a nightmare. You filling that bad boy up? Speaking of smoking, uh, you've been just kind of holding it. You've been I've like, been tweaking, yeah, I've been <laughs> I'm just kind of holding it. If y'all are wondering how good that thing smells and tastes, he don't even need the weed. No, He's literally just, like just out sucking here, on like, it. It's just... really that first bong rip that's kind of got me just floating right now. What'd you, you ever smoke? Just float? I smoked some purple sticky rice from Ooh. Turtle Pie Company. Ooh. Turtle All that, that whole sentence sounded fancy. Yeah, I don't know. That even whole know. thing like, just. Mean, yeah, crazy <laughs> shit. Can't even describe it. <laughs> Besides, I'm baked as fuck. I baked love as it. a motherfucker. That's nice off one bong rip, too. You one know, bong rip. Just like fucking, like you said, you're, you said you're That's floating. like the most efficient way to smoke. That's why I like bong rip so much. Because a joint's going to take 10 minutes, and it's going to hot box whatever yeah. you're in, and then it's going to fucking, Smell. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, gonna, I could have smoked that same amount in like a small joint. It would have just taken a while. Yeah. But I don't think I would have gotten high. I don't higher. think you wouldn't have got as high. No. Yeah. No way. Nah, the bong no is, way. bong it's or like, like, it's or like it's a like shot versus like three beers. A bong or a pipe might be the most efficient way to get high. Like, yeah. like without wasting weed. I don't even want to say hi. It's the most efficient way to consume cannabis. Ooh. I don't know. Eating it might be the most efficient way, though. No. I don't know, bro. Think of how much you got to eat. I mean, not me. Oh. <laughs> 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 not me, bro. <laughs> you give me a couple minutes. You watch an episode, man. <laughs> Motherfucking Tim got fucked up. <laughs> yeah, halfway through the episode, you got that, like... He had to edit shit out of the episode where I was like, hey, man, I think we need to stop for a second. I'm like, I'm freaking out. Like, <laughs> isn't that when y'all ate, like, hundreds, though? Yeah, we ate like, I ate one piece of a fucking edible, one uh, candy strip. I think he ate two, but he thought he only ate one. I think edibles his, crazy I think he has two. Yeah, edibles, edibles fuck me up, but I think that might be the most efficient way if they affect you. What's Some people don't, edible, they don't fuck you up. 
You like a gummy or like you like a chocolate or like a, a edible drink? I was on the pills for a long time. Oh, pills. Nice. Um, so like any capsule form was my style forever. And that's because like I have a pretty high tolerance. Right. So, so like pop, 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 yeah, pop. having to eat 20 gummies wasn't it for me. For sure. That makes um, sense. Right now I'm deep on the super chills. What are those? Um, the super chills. Have you, had, have you seen super chill yet? Mm-hmm. Um, so I found out about super chill because I did a collab with my friend Sacred Fruits. But super chill is like a organic fruit gummy edible okay mm. um no preservatives all like the bad stuff's not in there but they have like crazy flavors like spicy and sour and all these weird things but you know it's uh spicy it hasn't hit the recreational market yet but okay. they okay. are right now they're well, they're changing R&D. the game a little bit no shit. um i will make sure to reach out get us some so y'all can try it but sounds good they are for me that's like the one i'm eating and then they have this thing called astro Astro Lux, I think it is, but they make uh, astronaut ice cream and what? Astronaut? Ice what is cream? astronaut what the fuck ice cream? Is it just dehydrated? Yeah, so it's dehydrated ice cream. Oh, um, so does it mean the does shelf life is, is it, really long? Does it not melt? Yeah, so like it doesn't melt, so you can keep it with you. So apparently, I gotta bring some. Um, my bad. Wait, can you rehydrate it or no? No, it's so like you just eat it, and it's, it's just like thing. it's like a creamy, almost. It's not crunchy, but like it. It's hard to explain. You think it'd be crunchy, right? It, and so like when this I was a like kid, the, candy. The, have you tried? Oh. When I was a kid, they had no. You haven't tried it yet either. My bad. Um, <laughs> hey, what the fuck, Barney? <laughs> God, none of us tried it, this man. shit. Um, sorry, I just never um, tried non-edible like astronaut. Should we just food. try some astronaut food? Yeah, like <laughs> do it. <laughs> That's the like next the episode of the month. We're just trying to astronaut. Yeah, we're <laughs> MREs after. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, just throw up with the little fuck. Tabascos. Fuck! Oh, I'd be down just for that. I don't want to eat old. Just throw it at the end. The old MREs. You see the YouTube dudes that eat the old ones. Fuck yeah! Oh, like fifty years old. Yeah, um, <laughs> there was that meme. He's like last one he ate from like thirty years ago, and he hasn't. He hasn't it posted since. He fucking yeah. died, dude. He fucking That's died, bro. Good. He <laughs> fucking didn't make it. A, is that a real thing? Yeah, no. I think he ate a Chinese one. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm not even joking. He ate an old Chinese one, bro. And he, he fucking ate one Chinese. He, one. he ate a bunch of American ones that were old. It was fine, and then he ate one Chinese one that was old. And GGS, bro. It hasn't, <laughs> hasn't posted since. It's fucked up, dude. Yo, someone needs to find out if this is real. <laughs> I, it is real. You can pull up his YouTube. It's fucking real, dude. It's I'm fucked up. A- it's fucked up, dude. He's gone. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat a fucking hundred year old MRE right? from China, dude. You just can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't can't sound, it doesn't even sound safe eating the American one. That sounds yeah. horrible. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm pointing okay. at right now. No, the bong's in the way. Um, can't see your pretty face. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, oh, that was scary. <laughs> what if it broke? How crazy. Like, crazy. Hit anything. Like, I was delightful-ish. Um, but no, so old astronaut ice cream was really crunchy. Like when we were kids, like it was, um, but like the new, well, the Astro Lux stuff is like, it gets creamy really quickly. Um, which isn't always the best description in the world, but like, here we are. Um, nice. Gets it creamy. was orange Julius almost like cream, orange creamsicle. Like okay. it was not on like oranges. So I was pretty stoked. I'm I will bring some that. cause they're like 30 milligrams each bite as well. Also, as you can tell, not groups. on the recreational market. I was like, yet. that doesn't sound, that math is wrong. <laughs> so but, you, you meant 10. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm just trying to new things out there to make sure that I'm R&D. in the community. R&D, oh, yeah. baby, R&D. Oh, yeah. That's important. That is important. Very interesting with the Amsterdam stuff, though. Very interesting. Wow, I just want some astronaut food now. I just want to know what the texture is like. <laughs> now, yeah, yeah, like I need to know. What can you compare it to, would you say? Anything? Tim, you've had it before, right? Like, no, no, I've had dehydrated food like that. You like, never had astronaut ice cream? No. Okay, so it was a big deal in Hawaii because like it was something Whoa. they could send to us. Oh, so like sick. we could feel like everybody else, which I know doesn't seem like <laughs> Wait, it would be a big thing, but like we don't get a lot of foods. Like when Domino's redid their pizza, we didn't get the oily crust. <laughs> Right, like the garlic crust that they talk about. You didn't get, no, didn't Hawaii get doesn't have that. And like, you want to do what you know? You know how I know? You can't send I used to work at a Domino's. I know the truth. You can't lie to us. Why can't we send the garlic oil though? What the fuck? Yeah, so the that. price is prohibitive oh. because it has to sit on a boat to get there. Oh, and it then, can't be then your Domino's pizza would just cost so much money. And it would make like you can't get a seven dollar pizza if that's the case. No, it should, it'd be it like falls fourteen out of the bucks. Yeah, you're fucked. And that's it. But there's a lot of things like that in Hawaii. Like if you've ever seen on TV where it's like. Oh, yeah, and we ship to the national U.S., except for Alaska and Hawaii. And you're like, well, fuck. Well, how about that? Hmm? How yeah. about that? Like, my... The shipping costs, fuck. I just bought my Nisa bicycle. Couldn't ship it to Hawaii. Whoa. From the, the from manufacturer or whatever? Amazon. 
<clears throat> what? They're like, we can't prime that, dude. That's way too much money. Nope, sorry. <laughs> so Jeff's I to, like, yo, no, you're tripping, dude. Yeah, Big Bezos was like, yo, bro, like, you got to ship that to the house and you got to put that on the plane with the homie, which I did. Tripping. But, like, that's ridiculous. That's like, fucking nuts. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> I don't even get me into, like, why Hawaii has issues. There's whole political things, but I won't get into that. Shout out Hawaii. Oh, why? When's the last time you were there? Uh, I think it's been a couple months. I'm going oh, in a couple shit. weeks now. Oh, nice. Um, What's the weather like right now? Is it super hot or like tropical? Or is it's it like always humid? perfect. Oh, really? Um, sometimes it's a little more humid. Sometimes it's a little more warm, but it's just always perfect. Are all the islands pretty similar weather? Or yeah, I mean, better? it's in that sort of section of the universe and in the world where I think like a hot day for us is 80s, mid 80s. <sighs> That's not. Nice. Um, like a cold day is 68. Year round kind of thing? Yeah. Just every day. And like we don't really have a rainy season. Like it rains every day for 15, 20 minutes. That's what I've heard. That's um, crazy. Yeah. yeah it just kind of comes and goes. Like when the, the couple times I've been there, it's just like, oh, it's raining. You're like, fuck. You're oh, like, you've been just hold too. on. And just wait a second. And it's gone. And you're and like, what? Warm. Dude, that was a trip. Like we were, uh, my wife and I were paddle boarding in Hawaii in the middle, and we're in the middle of the ocean. It starts raining. And we're like, this is fine. It's fucking warm out here. Like we're chilling. We just kept going. Then stopped raining. We're just chilling. So like it's it's amazing. Like you're not like uh, cold or anything. Like it's not a bad. The only thing like it's like it does get humid. It does get humid for sure. Mm. But it's not like Thailand humid. Oof. I don't even know so about like, that. Yeah, that, that. I don't, I don't know. know. What, like, is there so is like, like a level up? There's there's different sure levels. To <laughs> oh this. fuck. Um, so like Hawaii has trade winds. So like the okay. wind moves. So that like the humidity kind of fluxes up and down. Okay. Um. Thailand is like a little bit bigger. So like the air doesn't move as well. But like when you get off the plane in Thailand, it hits you like, like as if blanket. Something just like ah. oof, or something there. In Hawaii, you can feel it on your skin when you get off the plane for sure. It's a little sticky. It's a little stickier. But like, like I had a bag of chips that I left overnight <laughs> and they were fucking soggy by the time I Wait, tried to eat them. And I'm not even I'm dead ass. Okay. I'm not even joking. And okay. I was on acid too. So I was tripping <laughs> off. I was like, what the fuck is going on with my chips right now, bro? I was like, what the bro, fuck, what? bro? That would be too I was tripping, deep. bro. Like I was actually tripping on it. Like it was confusing my brain. I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? So the water in the air, dude. Okay, and it got so attacked my chips. Reverse this. I think that chips go bad in a day. Mm. Yeah. Cause you're going to cut from Hawaii. All chips. Everything crunchy goes bad in a day. Whoa. Since it, I lived in California and I should be lasting. I, so I know I don't even eat chips, right? Because <laughs> I like, they're not, they don't last, <laughs> but like my wife eats a gang of chips. So they're always crispy. They're always crunchy. You're like, this is weird. And I'm like, yo, this is kind of crazy. Like, are these still okay? <laughs> like, I feel like the chips go bad. I totally get this though, because that, know. that one time, man, I'm telling you, I was confused, man. I was like, well, they're actually like, they're, they were like wet, dude. I was like, this is fucking That's odd. insane. I'm like, confused odd, bro. every time I eat chips outside of Hawaii. So you have confusion once. I have it every time. You're like, these should not be crunchy. These should not be crunchy. <laughs> but that bag's been open for at least an hour. Those should be wet by now. <laughs> There's no <laughs> way. They should be soggy. That's so funny. Like even in the house? Oh, yeah. Oh my God. Bro, dead ass. Though, look, the Airbnb that I was staying at, the fucking handle on the fridge was like rusting, bro. Ew. I was tripping because of the humidity. <laughs> I was tripping. The Airbnb was nice as fuck. And I go to this fridge and I'm like, yo, what the fuck's up with their handle on this bitch? I had to fucking ask. I was like, what the hell? Y'all need a new fridge in this thing, bro. This shit is crazy. Oh, you can't store classic cars in Hawaii. Can't. No. What the fuck? Dude, like, you can't. I feel like, dude, anything like just metal, like it's it shit's getting fucked over there because of the humidity humidity and like the salt the salt like from the, the water right because like same thing like california you live like near the, the ocean and shit like cars be getting fucked up here too like it's 100 percent. it's just you know like from california comes from one angle you're, you're surrounded that motherfucking just you're fucking surrounded dude spinning and like it's yeah. one of the reasons why growing weed in hawaii is so hard yeah Under the same idea actually fuck the humidity so when you go to hawaii for the first time you have to bring the opposite of the humidity pack you have to bring the dehumidity pack oh so it dries everything. Because it's sort of dry your weed out. Shit's just wet. Because when you get out there, your weed's going to literally get ruined because it's going to be too humid and too moist. And you're gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like the second you open it, it's like, this was fire. <laughs> Whoa. Before I left California. <laughs> and now it's trash. <laughs> now this is not so fire. <laughs> but there's reliable good weed out there, huh? Not reliable, but there's good weed out there. Decent. Yeah. 
I nice. mean, I, I was very different weed. That was very stuck. I got dude. rosin. I got BHO. Oh, I mean, the, the Big Island guys, they fucking hooked it up, dude. They were they were super cool. No, nah, shout out to Big Island Grown. Like it um, was, I was actually like super hyped. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I would say Big Island Grown is the only company in Hawaii making it for the culture and trying to make an effort. Wow. That's um, awesome. There's, I believe, eight groups of dispensaries in Hawaii now. Um, big is the only one really out there trying to change stuff. Is there a bunch of people out there like just uh, big money trying to just not even big money, but they weren't old culture people. They weren't old weed people um, from the islands. Yeah. Like did people from, from the island, like do you have to be you from had to be from the islands? Like Woody couldn't get his like Woody Harrelson got Woods Weho. He didn't win in Hawaii. Yeah. Get wrecked. Um, there's just certain rules, right? Like. No, there should be though. Like the, the 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 natives, you should have the right to to run those establishments that are going to make fucking money. But are people not doing it the right way though? So that was yeah. That I mean, so going that's on. like there's a big fight, right? So actually, like the hash you just smoked comes from a yeah, patient driven cooperative. I think I got that right. Yep, no, hundred percent. Um, yep, yep, yep. So they're the opposite of like a dispensary. So this is a small group on the North Shore of Hawaii that grows for a bunch of patients. Love that. It might not be legal. It might not be illegal. No one's really sure. Like the cops don't know what to do. The politicians mm-hmm. don't know what to do. Like the laws are still that new. So, so what, what is in, in, is it recreationally legal there? Or is it just a medical law there? Just medical. Okay. So then there's, there's always a lot of like leeway there and shit like that. Like it's the same thing, like prop two fifteen times here, you know, there's this fucking more, more um, room for playing that gray line, you know, where you're like, y'all didn't lay out the rules. I'm just tell me what the rules are and we'll play. Yeah, we will do until, whatever until, you ask. until you tell me. I'm gonna just play the game. That's I think literally how cannabis is built. Mm-hmm. Is we'll do whatever you want us to do, but if you don't tell us, how am I supposed to know? We're gonna do it a certain way. Yeah, I'm gonna just run it because that's the only way we know how to do it. Yeah, and until someone tells you how to you know operate in a different manner that they deem is legal, then sure. Yo, you guys are looking at that all fucking weird. No, okay, so like, you can pass it to him. If you, you know, like. I don't pass things. Yeah, yeah. Just pass and then it my to wife me. will like yell at me and then she'll see it. And then a hundred thousand people are going to wrap me out. Just smoke it. Dude. No, I don't pass thing. Oh, oh, like a sharing weed thing. Yeah. Dangerous. I don't smoke enough weed to fucking know, know the sharing weed thing. So like, I don't hit other people's rigs. I don't like. Oh, Eric, you're, so he's saying you're, you're nasty. What's up? <gasps> <laughs> Everyone, everyone's a little nasty. <laughs> I mean, we know Eric's a little. What? I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm just like, you know. Can be going, can be going, going, to, going to Vegas a few times, all right? Hey, man, Vegas yeah. is crazy. Who knows always, what happens? He always gets the patio. <laughs> the patio view is crazy. You can't knock at that balcony. You gotta smoke. You gotta, gotta smoke. Cosmo. You gotta That's smoke. That's another man. one. Sponsor him. Come on, what are y'all doing? Cosmo, we're not smoking on the balcony, but. Like, make sure you always give them a balcony. <laughs> yeah, have you ever gotten the the smoking <laughs> violation for a hotel? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Those little fuckers. Yeah, a couple of times. It Bullshit. definitely hit me with it. I'm like, man. It's never really like. What are we doing here? I think I've gotten one in Vegas, though. But I've gotten one in other places for sure. It's always like the weird cities. It's annoying when it's like you're only at the hotel for like one day. Yeah. If you're there for a few yeah. days, you're like, all right, fine. I can fucking. Like, whatever. Whatever. The hotel room was. 50 bucks more a day. I got one in California. That Whoa. is actually weird. Like, okay. hey, dude, I was smoking a legal thing. Yeah, <laughs> and I real. didn't smoke in the room. Oh, That's Your weed was just that loud? Left the stench? So I can't smoke in the room. I got a one-year-old. Oh, yeah. Weird. Like, this is, actually, I'm not smoking weed in the room. Yeah. That's not going to happen. Was it 419? And did I have a gang of samples on me? Hey. I samples. did. <laughs> No Samples. I am not refuting that my room smelt like weed. Mm-hmm. But I did not I smoke, smoke in that bitch. Weed is not illegal. Me having a gang of weed in my hotel room is not illegal. Facts. Nah. Facts. Like, that's so, bullshit. Yeah, Intercontinental Monterey. Don't Suck stay it. there. Suck yeah, it. Fuck them. I told y'all. I told y'all. <laughs> fuck <laughs> them. But everywhere else, I'm good. Hmm. Got some more news right here. Researchers found that cannabis reform in individual states has led to decreased tobacco use. Hey, what a W. The study was conducted by Bentley University and Ferrari University. No, I'm kidding. San Diego State University and Georgia State University. Uh, Quote, this study is the first to comprehensively examine the impact of the legalization of recreational cannabis on adult tobacco use. That's actually kind of cool. That is pretty know. cool. That is pretty cool. I mean, tobacco use is fucking not great for, for you, but uh, you can 
lose a little bit of that with some uh, some marijuana use. So you think they're just like substituting it? They're just like not consuming as much tobacco and smoking more weed? I'm, One vice for another? I think that's why I never really smoked cigarettes because I could smoke weed. Yeah. I feel like if I didn't have, if I didn't grow up in California where I had access to weed at fucking whatever age, like in high school, I, don't, I, probably, I probably would smoke cigarettes. Like I think... I'm sorry, this is going to come off terribly, but like, I think smoking <laughs> looks cool. It's pretty true. Like, I know that's terrible. It's pretty sorry, true. But <laughs> sorry, kids, but smoking is cool. Um, well, it's but, like, I mean, humans have been smoking for ever. Forever. Yeah, thousands. Smoking whatever, too. Random trying just leaves. Random just, plants and shit. <laughs> just like, shit, I might die right now, but let's smoke. <laughs> like, just crunch it up in a little bit. <clears throat> that's the craziest part, too. Same thing like the first dude that licked the frog. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Shout out to that dude. There's tons of other frogs that were licked that nothing happened there. Like, I mean, something might have happened. Mm-hmm. Tongue like, fucking like, tongue, like, tongue swelled up. His like, mm-hmm. probably died from licking the wrong frog. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah. people died. A weird frog. The weird frog way. They found three key uh, findings in their study. First, the first stage results from the survey. Here we go. Show consistent evidence that RML, quote, recreational marijuana laws, adoption increases adult marijuana use by two to five percentage points through vaping. Oh, including through Wait. vaping. Oh, okay, nice. So, I mean, I guess that makes sense for sure. I'm surprised it's so little, actually. Yeah, only only two to five percent. Hmm. I mean, five percent is a big number, though, when you do it at scale. Sure, but, yeah, that's a few more million people. But like, but it's like, is this also like? Uh, I wonder what their margin of error is too. You know, I mean, like true. They're true. like two to five percent margin of error, three <laughs> percent. They're like, well, hold on a second, <laughs> brother. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what's yeah. happening here? I'm fairly trusting of high times, like, you know, for like whatever they. Well, wrote. no, it's not. It's not even high times thing. It's the it's, it's the, the study. Of health yeah, health. it's the study it's from the whatever of health economics. Whoever did the study, high times didn't do the study. They're just reporting on it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. but whoever did the fucking study is like they're hey. doing it. Second authors state that they quote find no evidence that legalization of recreational marijuana increases adult tobacco use. Nice. Oh, shit, and shit, lastly, shit. that recreational marijuana laws adoption accompanied by the opening of recreational marijuana dispensaries is associated with larger increases in electronic nicotine delivery systems huh. so, without open so, and without open dispensaries. So people are using more fuck I feel like that's 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 a weird fucking stat right there. So because of dispensaries people are using more e vapes. I can't get over the fact that there's all these new like acronyms that I've never yeah, heard. Yeah, what the fuck, the fuck is the RML RML and a recreational NISDA. marijuana law? Like what the <laughs> Have you ever heard of any of these before? Nah, I guess they just explain it right here, but I don't know why they would shorten it up. <laughs> For future articles, so they don't have to write yeah. that long-ass uh, bullshit. Let's see the final. Ultimately, authors wrote that the increased number of recreational dispensaries is an important supply channel to explain substitution between marijuana and tobacco among adults. Okay, so more dispensaries, people give up tobacco use, I guess is what they're saying. There's a link there. I'll, I'll take it. I mean, it's kind of chill, I'm I more suppose. confused than when I was. I'm started. fucking way more confused <laughs> now. This, this like was, <laughs> this shit confused the fuck out of my dumb ass. I'm fucking way too stupid for this shit, bro. What the fuck? The, the, I need, I need to like be on Twitter and then I can uh, at, at reply chat GBT. Explain this to me. Like I'm fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking will explain it. Please me. read this article. Explain <laughs> to me. <laughs> And quick notes. I don't know what this is. What is happening right now? No, but I mean, I, I, the, the general thing is, is tobacco use down with recreational it, cannabis. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm. Sounds good to that me. Sounds fucking awesome. Cause people smoking tobacco is not the greatest, but. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to do it. It's, it's embedded like, in human DNA, bro. We're smoking tobacco dog. Like it's not, you ain't going to cut that out ever. It's not oh, happening. You think so? You Until we're robots. Know. Until we're Americans robots. smoke tobacco. See, <laughs> you hear that? Goddamn right, brother. <laughs> Okay, you get you a beer can and a cigarette. Country, like good Americans smoke tobacco. Yep. Yeah, tobacco tobacco ads back in the day were definitely fucking weird for sure. Mm. The marketing campaign for tobacco was definitely the most sus chef ever. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you. Smoke a pack a day. <laughs> be a man. <laughs> yeah, it was like be a man. Say that. <laughs> Don't be a pussy. Smoke cigarettes. Or he like, smokes a cig and like hella bitches just come. Up yeah, dude, it's like you're like <laughs> the coolest guy in the world because you fucking just chain smoked four cigarettes. Like what the fuck? <laughs> While riding a horse. Yeah. <laughs> like what in the John Wayne is happening, dude? <laughs> it was like, realistic. It was realistic. <laughs> The leather jacket, slick back hair. I'm using that moving forward. Fuck. Mm-hmm. What in mm-hmm. the John Wayne? Yeah. I used to say that's mighty white of you. That's um, mighty yeah. white of you. <laughs> 
Jesus. I'm going to. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to go with that's very John Wayne. That's much. That's much more politically correct. Tim's got the dad speak coming in soon. Oh yeah, man, I'm He's working like, on hey, it. Let's blow this. <laughs> like whatever. He's ready to get up. Slap his knee a little bit. <laughs> slap his knee a few times. Come on now. I get in the minivan. Yeah. I think I'm just Fucking as cool hell. as I was before I had a kid. I don't know. Maybe not yeah, though. Know. Who knows? Maybe. I mean, I think you're pretty cool. Buddy. You knew me nice. before and after. Yeah, I think so. I think it's the same. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Tim doesn't know if he's known me before or after my kid. My son is one years old. I've known Tim for a decade. Mm, I wonder hey, which might, one might is have accurate. A, you might have a couple of stragglers out there, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> You've lived a couple of lives, man. This is the moment where my wife no longer <laughs> likes Tim. It was another lifetime. I like Tim. I don't like him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it happens. It, it happens. didn't happen. It didn't happen. Okay, let's be clear. He says it happens. It didn't happen. Okay. It did not happen. The dad life, huh? There's two dads at the table. Dude, Congrats, he's guys. Crazy, he's man. still baking. <coughs> halfway. Yeah, you're a little halfway yeah, there. Like, still you're, loading. In the loading like, stage. You know what I mean? like, We're like in the, the 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 trial before the campaign, you know? Like oh, yeah. Call of Duty just demo? loaded up. Yeah. Demo. The tutorial, that's what it is. Oh. That's what we're in right now. Interesting. Yeah, yeah no, the demo is when they come out. Yeah, demo comes out and you're like, whoa. Because like their heads are a little soft, so you can drop them and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, they got their practice set of teeth, so like, my son just chipped one of his teeth and my oh. wife was screaming at me. And she's like, what are we going to do? I was like, dude, these are the practice teeth. Hey, you knew it. <laughs> you get another pair. Don't this even stress. This is lit. Like, Honestly, this is awesome. <laughs> what are you really worried about? Like, he gets yeah. another pair. What's well, great is like, like you can always tell in like videos for the most part if this is like someone's first kid or like they've had multiple kids because the, the parents oh, with multiple like when kids. when the kid falls down. The, the <laughs> fucking parents with multiple kids are like, yeah, whatever. They get back up. The, the fucking, the parents are for, oh, Fuck! Like, they're gonna die. And it's like, dude, it's the, they're pretty resilient little things. Like they'll be okay. They're huge. Yeah, they just bounce around for. <laughs> it's a fucking bit, weird, dude. Years. I mean, that's why they make them soft and squishy and flexible. <laughs> and I know that's not like a thing, but like it for sure is. Like if they're like a human air. Why are their bones soft? Is because like when they fall, they don't break. They just kind of bend a little bit and they bend back. Like why are their heads soft? Because like how do you squeeze out of where they come out of if their heads don't change? And like yeah, let's yeah. be clear, that's facts. I think it's because it's early. If your They're head born early, is baby. perfectly round, okay? If your head's perfectly round and shaped, that means you probably got cut out of your mama, yeah. okay? Mm. If you got a weird shaped head, that means your mom's a G. Yeah. She's squished out. Hey, I'm not saying there was a choice. I'm just saying that. Like, <laughs> You're not yo, pleasantly brought into the world, like, yo, for sure. I was there, okay? Like... <laughs> Squished and, down. Okay, I'm just gonna say this outside. Don't you ever call someone a pussy if they're soft, okay? Those things can take abuse. Okay? Yeah. Pussies are the toughest, vaginas are the most resilient, amazing things on this earth. Okay. Don't they call someone life. a pussy. They it's not life. accurate. What do I do with my hands? It's just it's just not accurate, y'all. Like mm. if you want to call someone something that's like, oh, you're weak, like don't call them a pussy, y'all. Like them things, mm. them things are mm. that makes sense. That makes sense. Them actually. things I, I know what are saying, strong. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> then this one might make sense. This one might get flagged for age appropriate issues, but that's not my fault. We're here to talk about We're biology. Just talking about life. Yeah, it's life. It's okay, this is about life. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna smoke again. Woo! This is great. We keep going with this. Press so, the gas yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, having a yeah, man. That's I can't this, imagine having a child. Congrats, guys. This is so the difference between say. like up weed and down weed. Yeah, yeah. Was that the sativa from? Y'all are older, so it's easy to say congrats, but I'm at that stage in my life where all my friends are having kids, and I don't know whether to say, like, fuck, bro, that sucks. Or, like, oh, congrats, dude. Like, I, don't know if you know, like, <laughs> I don't know if fuck that sucks is ever an appropriate response. No, no, like, you know I'm enough, for sure. You're like, oh, no. Oh, it's like, it's like, damn, was that an accident? Like, yeah, 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 for sure. Chill, for sure. Bro. Like, like who's it with? Up. Like, are you sure you want it type shit? You know, crazy stuff, crazy <sighs> stuff. It's true, though, like, the joke we have in our friend group is if you ever seen that meme where it's like that baby elephant who gets like bit by the crocodile. <laughs> what the? Okay. What the? You know what I'm talking about? No, but we need this on the screen right now for sure. Because I'm yeah, confused. So there's, 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 there's this meme where it's a little baby elephant who's like trying to like go up to the water to drink and like crocodile bites it. Oh, like his trunk? Yeah, like the trunk. And like the joke is like when you're young, pull out game is not as strong. 
Uh, so like you gotta be more easy careful. Easy to get bit. It's easy to get bit when you're young. Mm, you gotta be more careful. Mm, you don't really really know what you're doing yet. That, that you think up. you're quicker though. That's the thing. Yeah, you like, think you, you think, got it. You yeah. think you know. But like, and then the crocodile comes out and it's like, come here, bitch. And, yeah, and, like, got you. <laughs> and like, that's true. You better Damn. watch out, man. Elephants are built different. They're just a weird animal, huh? I mean, they 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 have no. How many do you think? No do you think us three could take on an elephant with like oh, spears, with go, animals, man. with animals? Or like yes, with, yes, because we killed woolly mammoths back in the day. But yeah. right now, no training, we're dead. Wait, 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 mm. hold on. We have no. to train. We have to train. We mm. are we are thousands of years past <laughs> when we could take out woolly mammoths. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. We have the to train. Three of us are like. We have to train. What Eric's if we had five? Shape. What if we had five? Eric's going to the gym right what now. If we had five spears each. I would agree. He looks good. Eric is going to the gym. He's going to lead this fucking push. He's in a W key. You're gonna be a distraction, and I'm gonna try to jump on it or something. <laughs> Damn, Fucking, that's yeah. the worst one. Maybe like, yeah, you're, pull, you're, pull its tail. Maybe <laughs> it's like shitting and stuff. Like, help! Can you imagine? Kick, this? Can they kick backwards like a horse? Probably. It's more the tusk thing, dude. You're gonna get fucking stabbed. Someone, uh, one of us is getting stabbed. It's gonna suck. Like impaled. I'm not about it's the gonna. Tail. It's gonna <laughs> what are you gonna say? Stepped on? Yeah. Now we're faster than that. They're dude. not that big. Bro. Yeah, they're pretty Doesn't big. Have, they like yeah. ride them in India and shit, so they're not huge. Yeah, but we're gonna fucking stab it. Oh, dude, Peter's coming out. Do you this think it's easy sure. to like? No, oh, their skin's probably. Is <laughs> yeah. their skin like a rhino? Yeah, they're, skin, yeah, they're bet you their shit's thick. Fuck. Hey, chill. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Relax a second, Eric. <laughs> Hold on, nah, really? you know what I mean though, for sure. <laughs> no, nah, I don't know, but but no, we have to be able to kill an elephant though. If, like, yeah. it was, if it was life or death, us three versus an elephant, I'm pretty confident. It's not us nice. three versus a tiger. I'm not. I'm still like. Oh, really, fuck. you would yeah. rather take on an elephant than a tiger? Oh, for sure. I feel like that's a hot take. I don't know. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Would you rather fight an elephant or a tiger? With your boys. Yeah, you got your like boys. You, you can got, pick you two. You group. can three stack. You can yeah, three stack yeah, this. Yeah, you got a little. You can even four if you want. That's Fuck. Four, four fourth person? Dude, if Josefo joins, we're definitely murking the tiger too. Yeah. 100%. Nice, nice, dude, he's nice. been in the gym for respect, sure. Respect. He's That's for sure easy. just... That's body easy. in that bitch. Yeah. I mean, I'm we just watched he takes it one on one. Dude, we just we're, we're there, there, to, we're there to cheer right on, bro. We're there to just <laughs> to support him. We're support people, dude, all day. Easy claps. That'd be real. That'd be real. I'm distracting the tiger. I'm like, hey, over here. Well, no, no, nice. no. Don't take my job. <laughs> well, no, when Josefo <laughs> joined, we're all distractors Yo, now. Back up. That's no, 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 no. The, the elephant is different team, it's different strats. We have different strats, dude. Yeah, the elephant. We're not just planting B in. all the time, right? We have different plans. The elephant you gotta take one leg at a time or something. Just stretch them out. Oh, that's. <laughs> oh, no, yo, you're talking about they're thick and stretching them out, dude. Can you calm the fuck down, bro? This is not a fucking porn hub. <laughs> Slow down. I'll get the rope. I'll get yeah, the rope in the Relax. Room. It's like a BDSM fucking like goddamn <laughs> film. Holy fuck, dude. We're definitely getting age restricted on this episode. It's an elephant. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's illegal in 46, fucking 46 states. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Hmm. Yeah, we can kill an elephant, though. Yeah, man. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm confident. <laughs> I'm confident, dude. 100%. I don't know if that's a hot take in itself. Like, fuck. Are people it mad. Is. If you, I don't think it is. I think people like uh, they underestimate. Like, they, they like You've never seen an elephant. I've no, seen I've seen an elephant. Oh, no, yeah. hold on. We got to go back to this. What weapon? Do we we all, we, we got spears. One weapon. Not for spears. No, we got spears. There's no way. We're There's, done. Dude, people have done this though. Dude, we yeah. are done. No, 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 no. We are done, okay. Bro. So it's us versus an elephant from the zoo. It's not it's like, like a, a wild big elephant. ass dart. Okay, really. check it's this. It's just out. like a big ass dart. So it's, an elephant. Fucking, so no, no. it's elephants from the zoo, so it doesn't. It's not wild. Okay, so you think it'll stick though? What if it just bounces off? Oh, okay, then, you know? you're like, then you're scared. Then you're scared. So like, okay. then you're so. That's why we need the training though, so we know how to fucking to throw really them. launch that motherfucker. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. It's like a big dart. Like Dude, a jazz I, just, board. I just heard your shoulder crack when you did <laughs> I'm going to die. There's no way. Like my shoulder's getting thrown out. Your shoulder's getting thrown out. I have a really bad. Like, it's you was, I have a really bad right shoulder. It's so bad. I heard it when I was in high. It's so bad, bro. Maybe you got to do like the two handed, just stab him. Like with no, that's why I said I'm jumping on. Oh, I, nice, nice, nice. I, I knew my shoulder was bad from the get go. That's why I said I'm jumping on because there's no shot I can throw. My my throwing days are stuff. long gone. Fuck. Nice. So like, there's like trauma for me with this right now. Have okay. you fought an elephant before? <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is like, there's the like fuck? real trauma. So there's an elephant that escaped in Hawaii when I was a kid. Oh, oh my god! Did it destroy kid. some shit? Did it kill anybody? It did kill people. And Holy. then they killed the elephant. Yeah. See, with spears? No, they had to use <laughs> guns because oh. humans have no ability. <laughs> yeah, we're, to pus take we're pretty pussies. Down down an elephant. But if we were had, if we had six months, I'm I'm convinced if if Eric had six months of training, he can he could probably That's kill the tiger. If we had six months of training, we can kill the elephant for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we are a thousand years 
pushed back from when we were tough enough as a species to do that. Yeah, see, but the ability to learn has rapidly improved. Please so, like, fucking. we could oh, we could oh, definitely right. fly to like if there was like no budget, right? We can like fly to some like samurai training. and be like, "Yo, we really need to kill this tiger," help. <laughs> and then he'd teach us. Because it'd be like a bag, boom, and then we'd be the fucking guys with the swords, and then Eric would go slay the tiger. You've seen the videos of like the kung fu guy fighting the MMA guy. Have you seen these? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or the we're kung definitely fu guy gets, like, punched did, in the, face the kung fu instantly. guy gets murdered. <laughs> <laughs> like this is the, we're not going to learn anything that's going to help. You don't us. think so? <laughs> you don't think? So? I think if he gets training, he has a chance. I I think I if you get training, you have a chance, man. I've seen that video of the tiger coming out the bushes like real fast. I don't no, think so. He's so like far. he's like on one end. He's like on an ATV or something. And the tiger's like coming through the grass. That's, yeah, I forgot what it's called though. I that's called. scary. Fuck, does he get away? Or does he get fucking murdered? He like scares it away almost, I want to say. Oh, he's on a TV, like revs the engine or something? Yeah, some shit like that. That was like a reflex right there. I feel like, dude, like a that tiger. Engine, that was like me scared in that tiger moment. Tiger runs through grass, I suppose. Tiger attacked through grass. Tiger, you know, you got it. Grass tiger? Ooh. I don't know. I'm just coming Talk up with words. That sounds like a new, that sounds like a new oh, first feature. one. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Is it really the first? <laughs> oh See, look, he's got a stick, bro. Easy peasy. Dude, you said he's on an ATV. But yeah, he's like... He's on a fucking elephant. Oh, fuck, what the fuck? fuck? Nah, see, look, this is, what, this, this is said, the angle. Hey, listen. He said this motherfucker's on an ATV. This is the only angle he's I saw. Right? He's scared away the ATV. This is the only angle I saw. This is the only angle I saw. What angle? This is the fucking look, look, look. The video I saw started right here. And I was like, who knows what he can he's be on? on. Who knows what he can be on? Dude, that's an animal. Hold on. Hold on. That doesn't even look like an animal at all. You have to say, that does not look like an animal Let's stop for a second. He revved the engine and scared the shit out of him, bro. I did. <laughs> what is the definition of ATV? <laughs> All terrain vehicle. Oh, <laughs> this isn't one. This is, is an ATV. This is an ATV. I love sure. go crazy. So ridiculous. I'm just saying he's not wrong. Oh my God. Yeah, is this air? Is look at the way to tap. See, look, oh, right here is the stab. Fuck. That's when this you stab. I told you guys. <laughs> yes, I told like, you guys. But you're bro. not going to. They go like this. And but you you're just not going to be on an elephant. You're going to be on the ground. Exactly. Not, so it's easier. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're seven up. Right here is way harder. Right here is way harder to stab. <laughs> he got so. You have to slash so, right here. If you're on him, just. Oh. Bro, look how easy that I is. I think you can do it. But not. You need the training. If you just go in there with no training, you're dying. I'm you're gonna, you're gonna get scared. It? I'll do the reaction training right now. I'm like the fucking. That's all, right, all you need. Let's see your that's timing. Let's see your timing. Can Whoa. we? Oh, it's, it's delayed. It's delayed. It's delayed. It's delayed. The screen's delayed. The screen's delayed. It's not a one to one. Right Fuck, now. dude, that's sketchy though. Honestly, yeah, that doesn't. That doesn't look how mad. That he's looking time angry, looks, dude. He wants your frosted oh, flakes. Oh shit! Look at this guy's reaction time. Okay, look Yo, at this. This guy's definitely. Look he's early. He's way he early. Tried to nah, he fucked him. up. That was his fault. Like, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh, yeah, that's fuck. you. That's I you, Eric. Oh Good job, bro. <laughs> You're fucking bleeding out now on top of an he, elephant, bro. He's a bot. He's literally a bot. He did it way too early. What is he doing? What bro, the fuck is he swinging at, he's, bro? He's also <laughs> swinging a stick. Yeah, <laughs> let's be clear. He's not swinging a spear. Oh my an god. Bot. But oh my god, this guy deserved to lose his hand fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's crazy. How scary is that though? Fuck. He came in quick, dude. That's like a couple seconds. Bro, max. he moved. That's why they're fat and they're they're like ambush predators. <laughs> that's the problem. It's like they just be hiding. Like, ah, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> fuck. Bro, but I bet you fuck. like hitting a very fast baseball is harder than impaling this line. You know? And you can do the baseball. Are you on drugs? No. That, that seems Are like the, you on drugs? the timing to hit a baseball is way harder than impaling this line with a sword. For sure. Yeah, but there's, <laughs> see, but there's like other, For there's sure. other variables though. Like just, <laughs> does a baseball move faster than a tiger? Yes. Yeah. But you're thinking in and like smaller, but you're thinking in like a one dimensional thing. Like there's other variables, like the fear of God that's in you from this tiger. <laughs> Fucking maybe we're just <laughs> different, Tim. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna put you in a cage with a tiger one day. I have to. We have to figure this out. It, 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 the safest way possible. I don't just know how we can put do mitts it. on them. No, and no, like no, a muzzle, no. mitts in a muzzle. We're definitely getting PETA attacked if we do that. <laughs> like for sure, bro. Like we're not for, publishing it. Oh, you know what they have? The tug of war thing with a tiger, just so you can feel its strength. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. do you remember Siegfried and Roy? 
Oh, they oh, fucked yeah. that guy up. That was his homie too. Yeah, like bro, that was so his he, friend. He like that was his friend Tiger. They played all the time. He knew all the moves. He's the most trained person in the world with tigers. <laughs> he still ended up as lunch. Damn, he died. I'm pretty sure. He, did he have a spear? He didn't. <laughs> there yeah, we was, go. It was a jump. He wasn't ready. There for we it. He go. Wasn't ready for it. You know, see, if you were in a, if you were in a coliseum. I'm I'm trying to be I'm trying to lean and towards Eric slowly surviving because I don't want Eric to die in a tiger <laughs> fight. Obviously, I want him to win the tiger fight. So I'm like, no, no. See, this is the problem: is you're building up his confidence and everyone else's confidence on fighting tigers. No, 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 <laughs> like, no, no, this no, no, is no. not. I'm safe. still I'm still you die. I'm still team you die. But if Eric specifically gets training for six months, I think he can. Yeah, just he's just doing this. Yeah, and he's fast as fuck at it. And just timing it. Yeah, just he's doing the fastest that exercise at it, dude. over and it's over. Like faster than you blink. I think he can get it. This is like the beginning of. Uh, he kind of soars through the air, bro. Look, you get a full like one second. Damn, but the the he's paw, like, the paw f- comes so he's quick, up in bro. the air, bro. He's eleven like, feet high. When he's flying he's on top of an elephant and then sitting up there. When like, he's flying, watch damn, how fast the paw swipes his fucking arm. No, you don't. You, if you blink, you miss the paw, dude. Nah, he's already winding up. So right he's here. flying, and then it just whoa. It's so Dude, that's quick. 10 seconds, it's right? It's so I'm quick. No, it right. starts at like eight, honestly. No, it's like- No, it's, but at 10 seconds, he's covering like a cool 20 yards. And then in and one jump. And it's growling at you the whole time. That is a pretty- Fuck! It's a pretty vicious growl. It's a pretty vicious growl, I'll say that. Um, I'm, I'm shitting in my pants right here. Damn, you can, yeah. Damn, right look at here, it right there. Like, I'm like, oh, oh damn, why does it smell like shit? <laughs> like, fuck. Bro, this, is, oh, this no. is where I'm pushing the homie off the elephant. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. I'm never going in anywhere near that with you. What the fuck? You, you're out up. of the team for the elephant fight, dude. <laughs> what if the tiger was like, you damn, that was fucked down. up, and he just like went for you instead? Yeah, and he's like, why'd you do that? <laughs> it's Bro. like a moral fucking tiger. He's like, nah, that wasn't cool, like, man. Yeah, that wasn't cool. Talk, just give him the eye of the tiger. He'd know what's up, bro. The song. With the classic, right? Just now. give him the eye of the tiger. And he'd fucking a, fucking. How do we always get on this tiger thing when I'm here? Because it's a great it's topic. <laughs> we talk about it every episode, honestly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a good, uh, a visual representation of what I'm talking about, though. That might have been the best video for it. Mm-hmm. With mm-hmm. the elephant. With, With the, the ATV, honestly, I'm surprised you didn't rev the engine and get out of there. I mean, the ATV crazy. Crucial, bro. <laughs> this also proves that the tiger ain't fucking with the elephant. Yeah, the tiger did mm, not yeah, give not a fuck about the not elephant. At all. Did not care. Well, no, no, he, he didn't attack, he didn't the, attack elephant the elephant at all, though. Because he knew that that elephant wasn't going to get its ass whooped by no tiger. <laughs> like, elephant it, versus tiger, who are you taking? Fuck. Does a tiger win that? What if the Probably elephant... Probably elephant. Because the tiger might just bite its fucking legs and shit. Yeah. It won't do no, anything. No, the tiger... The, tiger the mouth tiger's way faster. The answer is elephant, everybody, and it's not even close. Nah, can we no, dude, can we Google that? Nah, we gotta Google it's that not real quick. Even close. Nah, because there's like people that do those YouTube like channels where they have and they hunt them and like, you can do it. Single easily. tiger, one yeah, tiger and one tiger. elephant. No way. Elephant I don't know if tigers be. do tigers hunt in packs. For sure, I think. I don't know. Yeah, dude, AZ animals. Who would have fight? <laughs> Bro, see, <laughs> someone's already done this. And this is March. This is March. This is brand new. This oh, is brand shit, new, he updated it. It was, it was, it was like, new. I actually found some new information. <laughs> <laughs> Two creatures live side by side. Place like have India they ever Asia. fought? I wonder what happens if they got in a fight. Oh, I right. wonder if they've ever fought. Look at that thumbnail, dude. Oh, dude, we're getting a breakdown. Yo, 12 This is insane. Wow. Jesus Christ. Wow. Can you do a buffer? Can I do a buffer? No, I can't do a Bruce buffer. <laughs> Tigers are fast. Time? Tigers oh. are fast, though. 40 miles an hour. Fast Super fuck. fast. They have look a at galloping that. run. Look at the bite power, though. Look at that leap. That We saw that leap. 20-foot leap. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting. Look at the bite power, though. Oh, it's the 10X on size, though. Yeah, but I mean, like UFC one. Have you seen that? Where the big ass dude gets his <laughs> teeth knocked in by the little guy? I mean, it can happen. Great mm. hearing, poor vision, dude. They're not even gonna be able to see this fucking tiger. Ooh, tough skin. Decent All right, come on. Smell binocular. See, look, my, my elephant's gonna know that, t- that tiger's factors. coming. Dude, what are tigers key are factors? such cool looking animals. It's crazy. Physical features. Damn, these guys are fucking. The fuck, huge. that's a, it's it's tank build, dude. It's a straight yeah. tank build. Tiger is the largest and most powerful cat in the world. See. The largest tiger, 932 pounds. Holy fuck. Damn. Yeah, <clears throat> read that next part. 12,000 pounds. However, Ooh. both of these pale in comparison to the elephant's tremendous size. An elephant can weigh Dude, over 10,000 pounds. An yeah. elephant can move quickly when it needs to charge and chase down an enemy. Ooh, 25 miles an hour. Thank you. <sighs> However, it's not a very agile animal. A tiger can run at a blazing 40 miles an hour. Sprint helps it down any other mammal on land. It's a small wonder. 
why they're apex predators in their range. Is an High elephant an apex predator? Senses. This is really, really thought through. Do they, they physical went deep. defense. <clears throat> they want to run these ads. Oh, look, they tie in the physical defenses. <laughs> the tiger gets the advantage in bite power and teeth. Tiger gets advantage in speed and movement. Dude, we're out here just fucking. Elephant and advantage bop. in size. Bop, bop. Just, just stick and move, baby. Did they, did they give the overall swipe. combat oh, skills? Oh, oh swipe, swipe. Oh. Elephant ain't got no combat. Tiger. Yeah, for sure. These guys look insane. Capabilities. Dude, this would be a good game. <laughs> Holy shit. Battle Royale, just nature. Fuck Ooh. yeah. Oh my god, I'm playing, dude. I'm playing. I'm, not gonna I'm lie. fucking playing. The bro. tiger has far me? better offensive capabilities. Yeah, it does. Overall. Because Fatal I mean bite, I, devastating tool. Yeah, of course, of course. An elephant's not really like a predator, it's like attacking Predatory people. Behaviors, and shit. Of course, of course. Key differences. Dude, who wins? Here would win this? a fight. Here would win in a fight. An elephant. Fuck. After all of the gassing Boo. up of the tiger, but he's just gassing up that shit. Boo. Undoubtedly a fierce beast, and it might stand the best chance out of all other land-dwelling animals. Boo. Yet the elephant's size and power are simply indomitable. Mm. Let's imagine the tiger stalks the elephant. <sighs> you can smell it. Not until the tiger has already leaped onto its back. and tiger Oh, dead. shit, they did a little scenario for us. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think they asked AI to fucking build it out? The tiger's strong, but a lone cat can't deal fatal damage to an elephant before the elephant ends the right. Mm. An elephant can shake the tiger off and withstand the initial slam of the tiger onto its body. <laughs> Yet the elephant will knock the tiger over or run through it at some point. Tigers are not agile enough to avoid an elephant forever. Oh, Fuck. so it would just run he out died. like breath or something. Tiger died. Tiger down. All it takes is a piece of the tiger's body to get caught under the elephant's weight and the fight is over. Oh, the tiger will be crushed or stabbed to death. No, not the tiger, bro. That's fun. <laughs> Big cat down, baby. Big yeah, cat down. Yeah, man, that's unfortunate. A tiger could kill a juvenile elephant, though. Fuck him. Hey. Kill him all. All right. <laughs> all right. You all gotta right. attack him, yo. <laughs> there Take him go. out. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say this just once. Great job, Dad. <laughs> Take him out. Take him out. You gotta get the babies when they're young. <laughs> hey, man, this is nature, right? <laughs> Bro, nature is a crazy nature, motherfucking thing. Nature is crazy. But, I mean, when I was told that elephants have no predator, and that's why they walk around the way they do. Because they're like, Bro, I'm huge. There's literally nothing they what can do. What are you gonna it. do? Pretty gnarly. Like, they just sort of walk around like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Have a great day, bro. <laughs> Thanks. Well, that sounds wonderful. Whoa, nothing can kill it, huh? Yo, this shit is strong. I'm so high, but I'm like, I can't stop talking. I'm still, dude. What are you smoking? D1 from Green Dog. This mm. is like, this is that new new. D1. Can I new? Get yeah, please. That new new new. That's that new That's new. That's that new new, huh? Oh. Mr. Beater? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. This guy's busting. This guy is busting right now. Tell Bust. us a little story time of what happened to you recently, man. We got a little break in the action right now to thank one of our sponsors, Factor. Um, they are America's number one ready-to-eat meal kits delivered right to your door. These They're convenient. They're fast. And again, they're ready-to-eat. There's no prep involved here. It's not like other kits where you have to cook and uh, worry about cleanup. These things, they, you pop them in the oven. You pop them in their microwave. They are ready to go. Um, have you been too busy to cook this May with Factor? It's very quick. You don't have to worry about cooking, cleaning, prepping. All that is out the window. These meals are ready in two minutes. Stick them in the oven, stick them in the air fryer. They're ready to go. Factor offers delicious options that suit a variety of lifestyles. Uh, keto, smart calorie, vegan, veggie, everything in between. So if you need special options for yourself, Factor's got you covered. Another amazing thing about Factor is all of the meals are prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. So they're going to offer all the ingredients and nutrients that you need to make sure you make it through your day. Head to factormeals.com slash pinepark50 to save 50% off your first order. Again, that's factormeals.com slash pinepark50. You can also use the code pinepark50 and save yourself 50%. We've got another break in the podcast to thank one of our sponsors, Babbel. Um, you know, for most of us learning a different language in, in high school wasn't exactly a high point of your academic career. Um, me personally, I took French in high school and I, I think I can say my name now and that's about it. Like, uh, je m'appelle Tim. I think that's all I've got. Um, now thanks to Babbel, there's a fun new way to learn a language and they've sold over 10 million subscriptions. Whether you're traveling abroad or you're just trying to, you know, find a deeper connection with some family members or friends, Babbel offers bite-sized lessons so you don't have to, you know, jump into overwhelming language courses. Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it a perfect way to learn on the go. 
With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, Spanish, French, German, and Italian. Babbel has special speech recognition technology that will help you with your pronunciation um, during your courses. Right now, you can get up to 55% off your subscription by going to babbel.com slash pine park. Again, that's babbel.com slash pine park. You can get up to 55% off your first subscription. So I just saw a couple of stories. I saw a couple of like 15 second clips or whatever. You yeah. Know? I mean, so. Oh my God. The long okay. story is I've known Peter and the plug and play fam for years. Um, and not because I was super obsessed with the product, um, but because like, to be honest, they were the only other Asian guys in the room at most of these cannabis events. And like, it was kind of cool for me. Facebook. Please, of course. Um, so like we ended up becoming friends over the years and doing all kinds of cool stuff together. But nice. I've never worked for plug and play. I've never sold a plug and play. I've never done any of those things. But when people ask me like, oh, what brands do you like? I tell them my short little lists, um, why I like them and all the reasons. So I've been doing that for plug play for a couple of years now, just because I do it for all of the friends that I like. You know, I do it for you guys. I do it for as many people. If I like your stuff, I'll tell people about it. It's, okay. just, it's like the little Barney seal of approval. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, just this is what I enjoy. And mm -hmm. like my answer, and I'm sorry, plug play, because I know they hate when I do this. But like the reason I love <laughs> plug play is because it can make you throw up. What is Wait, what? You can take a hit off a pen so big, it'll make you throw up like a dab. My bag. Like it will absolutely tear your face off. Ooh. So like, I think that was a cool feature for a vape pen. Just an absolute, like you take two blinkers or a double dab cap blinker, you double are. Dab cap. Yeah. That sure. was a mouthful in itself, a double dab cap blinker. <sighs> Might be part of that culture a little bit. So what that is, they have this little cap that goes on top of their pants. Okay. And you, you can, can connect two together. Yeah, you can connect it, two together and you squeeze both rate. sides. And that thing will just. I seen somebody make like a, they had like a giant. A pool noodle? Bruh. And they had like 40 vapes in it. And I was like, yo. They all started blinking at the same yeah. time. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? This guy's fucking tweaking, bro. <laughs> it's like literally 40 pens at once, all blinking. I was like, yo, you're tripping. And like, that's, that's not insane. the cleanest thing in the world. Oh, nah. Like a pool Hell noodle? Nah. That's gotta be no. one of the most disgusting Dude, things. Dude, he's smoking he's chlorine smoking. all day. Maybe it was a new pool noodle. Even if Even so. worse. Oh, it's fuck. Like you the think? fucking chemicals from the factory there. No, no, thank you. Yeah, like that's like. <laughs> The fuck? I mean, you're everything's got a little child labor. Talk about that MRE, man. <laughs> what That's the uh, fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Everything's got a little child labor. Yeah, I just chill out. Yeah, I know. I was like, I no, just, no, no, I just no, kept no. going. I was like, <laughs> I was like no, 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 no. Keep, yeah. keep it moving. Don't no stress. <laughs> like, <coughs> where are you from again? What's your background? Vietnam. Yeah, they, can't, they don't do that. I was like, they don't do that. <laughs> 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 Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think there's anyone of age that works there actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're too old to be here. What are you doing? Literally. Jesus Christ. Hey, your fingers don't move fast enough. <laughs> hey, your hey, hands hey. can't even fit in there. Yeah, Stop it. Like, hey, hey, you're making the stitches too big. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked, dude. That's so fucked. I'm Jesus, sorry. Jesus hey, it's Christ. the coffee and the D1. Jesus. The sours got me going crazy. It's not my fault. It's not, it's not my fault. Game. Watch, it'll happen to him. <laughs> He's like, what, they're working, dude. Yeah, they're, they're earning, they're earning a living. A living. Yeah, Jesus. Ten cents? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. It's up to like a dollar a day. <laughs> Stop making me laugh about it. <laughs> it's, imp it's improved, I bet. Hey, dude, they have 10x their wages. It's fucking lit. Exactly. <laughs> We've been stagnating here in America for decades. <laughs> Who's really improving? Yeah. I think I think there's some companies in America that literally this year just got busted for a uh, child. Uh, yeah, labor I've been stuff. like I've just seen some shit like that on in Twitter. The States, yeah, in, shit, in the man. United States. Where'd yeah, you get your first job? How old were you? I was like 15. As soon as uh, I could, I got, I, I got a permit from from my school counselor. I think I was like fucking 14 and a half nice. or something. Like that. I had to get a work permit. Nice. Yeah, it was a trip. When did you get your first? This job? is not gonna sound good. Oh god, <laughs> he's like eight years old. I was fucking sewing sweaters. Like, whoa, yo, chill whoa, out. whoa! That was worse than anything I said for sure. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! I think I was what six. Oh my god, six! What the so, fuck? I think I was six, maybe even younger. What the fuck could you do at six for a job? So. If he says sewing sweaters, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving the podcast. I'm literally going to walk out the fucking room if he says that because he's hesitating right now. So my family was in real estate. Okay, cool. And in the old days before they had emails, you actually had to send like mail to people. 
Oh shit! And realtors had these like pop up cards. Oh, so you just go put everything that in. they would send out. So oh. I would get paid to fold the cards. Nice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not even deliver the cards. You were like, no, not, I would just not like, like sit there and fold the cards. That's little actually. Little that cards. makes that's kind of so well, like like a paper route. <laughs> oh, like weird. yeah, that's what I thought. Like maybe like a paper yeah, route. So like, no, like and my like my dad worked for the place, and it was like the way that you know, a he could get all the cards folded, which I found out was the actual reason that I was yeah getting paid to do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Here's your allowance. So the fucker. reason that I know that it's a little screwed up, and pops, I'm sorry about this. Is uh, he paid me, I believe, a tenth of a penny. Cool. Yeah, but you were stoked though because you were participating. Because no, it's also because when you're <laughs> kids, you don't understand how money works. Yeah, but, mm. but you were you were you had an activity. You were you were occupied. You weren't just fucking screaming in the corner all. You understand that I still remember the actual. Thing yeah, but that it, he maybe paid me like maybe I that still instilled feel like I got ripped off. Maybe that instilled <laughs> some hard work in you though that I'm you don't sure know. I'm sure that it did. But so like, then, what are you worried about? And this it is the guy that was out. giving us crap for child labor. He's now yeah. like, oh, child labor. Yeah. Like, nah, but it's, child labor's good the, for you. In the family, it's good. You build, like. In the family, it's good. You know, a little child labor, it's good. They're all family owned, man. No, I don't know, dude. Why? Why'd you use that voice? Huh? Is there something else in there you want to talk about? Was Is there the something deep texting there? coming out? I don't think so. That, that felt like a cousin joke. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just saying, that, Jesus Christ. That felt like a cousin joke to me. <laughs> Jeez. Barney's out here like, yo, do we need to uh, unearth some things? Hey, hey. <laughs> I, I, I had to look smart in the first episode. I'm here to, you know, get a little litty and make some bad decisions. Like, uh, fucking banger. Oh, no. Did we really it scroll is a banger to it? Indeed. No, we didn't scroll to it, right? We're not ready yet. I'm not oh, ready yet. Not no, ready yet. no worries. Not ready yet. We got this one, huh? Oh, what ready. happened this one? <laughs> oh, that's a fucking great one. This is a great one. UFC star Israel Adesanya's ex-girlfriend takes him to court seeking half of his fortune. Uh, reportedly facing a court battle after splitting with an ex-girlfriend who wants half of his earnings after like, uh, what, she just said she deserves it, right? After like setting him up. She said she set him up for his future and everything. She's the reason he's successful kind of thing. Well, so now I've heard these, these, some of these stories before with like, even like Conor, Mc, <laughs> Conor McGregor's wife, right, 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 right. where she worked full-time you know multiple jobs paid all the bills paid the rent paid everything so he could train right Respect. and like i've heard that story a few times right so if that's the situation i don't know i feel some type of way about it i'm like fuck i don't know that'd be kind of fucking weird but then on the <laughs> other hand it's like suck like, what is she really yeah, yeah like i don't know the story i don't know yeah, their right. personal relationships I don't, I don't i don't know but on the surface the clickbait you're like that sounds fucking whack <laughs> <laughs> like from the clickbait you're like fuck that noise but then right. also there's like there could be like i know there's like common law marriage laws and things like that so if you've been dating someone for fucking five years and you've lived together there's different there's like rules and shit you know it's not just Whoa. hey you have to be married it's not everywhere, and I don't even know where they're from. I think they're from like uh, like oh, New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand. Yeah, so it's I don't know the fucking laws there. You, New like, Zealand. I don't know. Sounds like a crazy place to be. Mm, Auckland, Auckland. Like I, I don't know that, but it's definitely like it's not. It's like a weird situation for like people to be like, "What's going on in their personal thing over there? Who's getting the money?" I always think it's trippy. No comment. Yeah, I always think it's weird. I have no opinion on this. I swear. <laughs> I have zero opinion. None. Hey. I'm lying. Um, what do you think about this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking... That'd be crazy. I don't have a wife or nothing. <laughs> so, like, so you ain't getting I can't shit. even picture myself in that scenario of like... I'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I, my shit, the fuck? <laughs> I don't what remember if, you. What if you were in the situation, in the though? What if you were in the situation where, like, they did take care of everything for five years? I'd make and you sure they're straight. You didn't pay for. I make shit. sure they're straight enough that they're not wanting half of it. They, right? Like they're okay. not complaining or nothing. You know? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You maybe sure it's not happy. Maybe it's like, yeah. hey, dude, let's make sure you're fucking at least on your yeah. feet to yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Set up like, your nah, own I'm thing. not gonna give you half, but I'll give you like a good amount. There's something there, like it's a little not, severance package. There you go, severance yeah. package. <laughs> like, thanks for what you put into yeah. the business. Maybe they'll get thing. monthly installments or something. Okay, there you go. There you go, lady. Okay, <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> the whole, the whole like, uh, <laughs> like financial things are so weird to me. Dude, I just want to just Barney, stop being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> say it. Just say it, man. Just say it. I, I mean, so it's like, Pine Park after dark, dude. What the yeah, fuck are you, what are you hiding? Okay, so the issue that I have with this is like, there's so many different levels to this, right? Like, what did he yeah, say? Yeah, we don't what know. What did he say? Was he like, did yo, he girl, like, like, I'm going to take care of you. Like, you just watch. I'm going to better, better, better. Who knows? Yeah, yeah true. Like, yeah, we, true. we have zero information. If you were that claiming that you got it, and like, then you didn't. 
pretty fucked up. Then like that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Like real talk. Like I don't give a fuck. Like and like this is probably because I was raised mainly by my single mother. Um. So I have a different like feel the type of way about this type of thing. Yeah. Because my mom was like, you know, like my dad made more bread than my mom did. No issue. But like my mom for sure felt a certain type of way. Word. Like oh yeah, that's my money. I ain't gonna say all of it, but like I damn well better be living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like, fair. If you ask my wife about it. Yeah, fuck out of here. My wife will absolutely tell you that she owns 58%. Fuck 50. <laughs> if not more. My wife's like, dude, he'd be homeless and broke and on the side <laughs> of the road. They take care of everything. So, like, I just, I, I'm I'm on both sides of this, but at the same time, like. You just don't know the situation. If she was straight haterade half the time and was like, you know, like, oh, you ain't shit, blah, blah, blah. I only take care of you because you have this stupid dream. Then, like, no. Like, <laughs> it's it's a very situational thing. And, like it's one situation could be like the total opposite from the other. So that's, that's the problem here is we don't know any of the variables. We don't know them. Like we're not their fucking friends or family. Like it's true. Yeah. It's, it should definitely be more like, uh, like the, the marriage is fucking weird in itself. Like that, the, Just whole, getting the government involved. Or it's whatever. fucking weird. It it's for strange. sure. Fucking. What do we su- need? It's super fucking weird. Like besides the tax benefits, it's fucking odd. Like that's it, how they get you. Yeah, no, dead ass. <laughs> They're like, dude, sign up for this program. It's great. Um, <laughs> it's just for this program. It just puts great. stress on 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 people a, a lot of the times. You know, and it's like, dude, like fucking in America, I think it's like fifty percent of marriages end in divorce. Like that shit's wild. Maybe more. Might no, be like, more than that. Might be sixty yeah. percent or some shit. Like it's a fucking weird stat. I mean, but the worst part is, is nobody's getting married anymore. Nah. Like only stupid people are having children now, and like I'm lucky because like you know I got lucky and I'm consider myself you know. <laughs> Not as stupid, but like really, really educated people. Most of them don't want to have kids. It's you scary. Kids, it's a scary time to have kids for sure. Because like, we're like, you guys were like, we're like, oh yeah, we're going to have kids right now. Like, nah, some of this stuff doesn't come out as planned as you thought it might. <laughs> um, and I'm down for that. Like, I love my son. It's the dopest thing ever. But like most of the people that I know in my generation aren't trying to have children. Mm, no way. Like if you go to like Japan and a lot of cultures, like it's oh, not yeah. like they're literally running out of people. Yeah. They're just not fucking. That's our problem, too. They just don't want to have kids. Well, even if they are fucking, they're not trying to have kids. Yeah. Shout out to the red light district again. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Sorry. I think it's a necessary evil. Or it's not even evil. You think it's a thing that like should be what? encouraged, like a red light district? Like yeah, dude, legal. drugs and sex should be legal, for sure, as adults. Nice. Do what you want to do. Feel that. Yeah, I'm definitely on the side of like... You should have a wild amount of freedoms. I yeah, mean, yeah, you should be able to I do agree. pretty much anything you want. Um, the only part that's scary is, is like as a not full size human. What? Do look. what the <laughs> fuck? As a not full size human? What is that? What? 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 I mean, I'm not a full size human. <laughs> you you look pretty full size to me. What like, does this mean? <laughs> okay, have you seen Anthony Davis? <laughs> He's oversized. Yeah, but those are like 1% people. I totally people. understand that, right? That's he like a point. Sure. That's not even a 1% person. That's like a 0.1% person. Yeah, person. He, he's, that he's, is a giant. He's in the, that is a the literal very giant. top 1% to 2%, right? For sure. No question. That person kills me. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. Like, Anthony Davis or a tiger. Like, this is a whole oh, other thing. That is a but, different one. That's a bad fight. <laughs> nah. Speaking of absolute beasts like Anthony Davis, Victor, Wembinyama. The sweepstakes what is have this? occurred. Hey, Victor, oh, you don't know about no. Victor, huh? No, 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 no. I'm I don't so know what frustrated this about this. I, I literally don't like even seeing him this happy. It's frustrating. As all is this the time. basketball thing? God. So yes, sir. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yesterday was the 2023 NBA draft lottery, and it was really, they were calling it the Victor race, the Wemby race. And that is because this motherfucker right here is supposed to be generational. Really? He's seven five. Okay. He can shoot threes. Mm-hmm. He's got handles and he's fucking nasty. He's like 19. How are his knees? We'll see. People are saying this or that or whatever. First question, but- because <laughs> I feel like I've heard this story before with some first round pick type people where they're not hey, even in the NBA anymore. I saw a tweet that said he might just- not just be the best NBA prospect ever. He might be the best team sport prospect of all time. 
I mean, sounds he lit. might be the best athlete in team sports. I hope he does the fucking the best ever, and he's a generational player. But that's what I'm saying. The knees. So the knees aren't as big of an issue for these kind of guys because they're built like Kevin Durant. They're not built. Okay, like Greg they're not. Harden. They're not. Okay, that's the guy. That's the guy's name. That's Greg, right. You're like Greg Greg name drop Odin. Yeah, right yeah. on the spot for you. Look at that. Because I I would never be able to tell you the name. But I got you. Uh, uh, I'm here for but you. But so so same same type of story with that guy. Yeah, but he looks like Kevin Durant, just taller. Okay. How tall is Kevin Durant? 6'11", 7'1", something like that. What the fuck? And like when Kevin Durant came out, he Kevin looked Durant's like his leg, leg looked like this. But like his, his first nickname was Durantula. <laughs> and he didn't like it. Oh, and then his, little spider legs? Yeah, and then they came out with Slim Reaper. Oh, Jesus. He didn't like that one either. <laughs> um, I like that one. But that was like, and Kevin Durant had the coolest nicknames ever. And he's like, I don't want those. I was like, dude, Durantula? What is so, wrong so, with So who, who got this guy? The Spurs? So there was a, oh. no, no, so there's a, there's the NBA does something different. They do a draft lottery, right? So the NFL, if you're the worst team, you get the first pick. No Makes sense. What, best team. Yeah. So like, okay. but the NBA doesn't do that because they don't want to encourage tanking because they don't want a team to just intentionally lose. And then they get the first pick. Like they don't want to reward you. Oh, for- no, nah, you should be able to do that though. You should be able to tank. Dude, trust me. The Spurs did. <laughs> You should be able to tank, though, for sure. <laughs> the Spurs, they, they were they just did. really bad, all right? The they Spurs did. were just really bad. They did. You <laughs> so, so how does it work if you can't so tank them? The top three teams get a 14% chance at getting the number one pick. Okay. But there's like a whole list of other teams that there's like 14 teams that can get a percent chance at the number one pick. Okay, because I was like, that math don't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you, look up, uh, if you look up the NBA draft, like NBA draft lottery odds. So the top three teams have the best odds. Like, okay. in terms but they have the same, they have the same the chance. The biggest losers have the And they have the same chance, though, 14%. 100%. Yeah. But if so. you're the best... Okay, hold on. This fucking system sucks, dick. So if you're the <laughs> best team... Hold on. If you're the best team in the NBA, do you still have a chance at getting the number one pick? You do not. This is uh, The draft lottery only is for the teams that did not make the playoffs. Okay. Okay. Because that would be even fucking weirder. Can that you imagine? You like win the championship and you get the first. It's like, you only have a 0.1% chance. That's what I'm saying. Fuck so it, still a chance. Detroit, <laughs> Houston, and San Antonio all had the worst records in the league. So they all have a 14% chance at the number one pick. Okay. And then this Charlotte, Portland, Orlando, and it just goes by their winning yeah, percentage. Keep, and you get a less and less percent chance gotcha. at like the league. So gotcha. you always have sense. like a less than 1% chance at the number one Makes pick. sense. Totally makes sense. They did a little lottery. The San Antonio Spurs won the motherfucking lottery. And is that the team you like in the basketball? That's my motherfucking team. No shot. That's they're fucking getting the number one. So you're, and they're pick. they're hundred percent gonna pick that that kid. <laughs> and this is so oh, corrupt. One hundred percent. This 100%. is so rigged. It's ridiculous. So the Spurs have really not been bad for the past like two decades. They've only really gotten three number one picks ever in like the past like I love three what you decades. Say only. <laughs> I love how you say only. Is that, is that a lot? They had four championships or something like that. Five, five championships. I just remember when I was younger, yeah, Tim, Tim Duncan uh, was, was pretty good. He was one of them. So the before Tim, Tim Duncan, Duncan was... Um, they had David Robinson, David the Admiral. Robinson, I'm, the I'm, Admiral. I'm not going to let you fail on that one. I got you. I'm here for you. The only reason I love like David Robinson. Like a 10 times all pro, two times NBA champ. He's a fucking beast. He's a G. And then who was like the third one? Like one of the top centers of all time, for sure. Then the second one, they get Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan is like... Probably top five of all time. I have fucking, a really hot take. I don't even watch basketball. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't watch basketball, but he's fucking good. I got a really hot take in LA. He's pretty I don't want to say it out loud. Kobe's right now. Hey, listen. So listen, listen, listen I'm not going to say, say it. I'm not going to say it. He better <laughs> come. Is he about to say it's better Real than Kobe? That's a crazy hot take. Let's just be real. That's like a crazy hot take. That's a crazy hot take he's about to say. I am wearing a Kobe's, y'all. I am here for us. Don't listen, stress. There's no way you think I'm Tim Duncan is better than Kobe. top 10 of all time. I'll just say that. He's top 10 You think he's better than Kobe? Hey, listen, listen. We're not going to go into that. Oh, my God. We're not going to go into that. I will say one thing as a Kobe fan. They're both top five. That's a crazy statement. I will say one thing as a giant Kobe fan, maybe the one of the biggest in the world. It's crazy. It's not a stupid conversation. It's crazy. They're both top five. I didn't say stupid. No, it's not a stupid conversation. I didn't say stupid. It's crazy. It's like when when you do your homework on Timmy. Tim is a Tim's man. It is a he's got my my name. Humbling moment as a Laker fan. He was just he was just quiet. He, just, was, he's, he, he was just fundamental. He, he was, was just, just that guy. Quiet. He was just, That's all. Was quiet. Just fucking quiet champion, silent. Quiet chance. Silent. So that was the last number one pick that we had. And he okay. just happened to be like so a top 10 then. player of all time. Yeah. And then David Abner was the other one. So this one just so, so happened. So this will be the third did, one. Yeah. The third one. Is that which, a lot? We'll just see if history repeats itself. Yeah. yeah. Let's check that actually. That's a good question. And is this <laughs> at, at How this many, height? Does he still play? the most first round draft picks? Does he still play center? Does he play like a 
What position does he play? At that, He'll that, probably play center. He's huge, but yeah, like, yeah he's got. Well, because like Kevin Durant's also fucking seven foot tall, but he doesn't play fucking they center. Got right? Three generational centers now. But this, okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So this guy at center, then then he's how much does this kid oh, weigh? Lakers. What are the? <laughs> how much? How much does this kid weigh? At seven know. three, you need to put some weight on. Cavs. Let's see. Oh, see, we only had two. We only had two, and they just so happened to be, you know. Tied Real with Lakers nice. now. Real so. nice. <laughs> Dude, the Cavaliers six. That's crazy. I mean, they yeah, still they suck. Yeah, ass. <laughs> that's tough. <laughs> Whoever the coaches are there are struggling. No, it's not the coaches. It's the ownership. But the owners, I think they're yeah, done The now. management. Yeah, it's the like the Redskins. So like the Redskins weren't bad because DC's bad. They were bad because of that dude that owned the Redskins. Dan Snyder sucks. Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing. This is probably one of like the best possible landing locations that Victor could have gone to out of like the top four teams. He was the one he was most excited about for sure with the Tony Parker connection because Tony Parker played for the Spurs. He's like one of the best players ever coming out of France. Oh, nice. They have like a personal connection there. They're friends. That's awesome. I saw him wearing a Tony Parker jersey in some picture. Real. Let's go. And this is like when he's a little 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 kid. I I don't like this at all. I'm pretty Um, sure that's where he wanted to go. When he said the Spurs, he was like, put both fists in the air. As a Laker fan, this hurts me. Tremendously. I'm not even gonna lie about San it. San Antonio might just be back, everybody. Oh my goodness. A little Greg Popovich tutelage. Tim Duncan lives down the street. He's like, hey, this is how you play. This is how you play in the big league. This, this is literally fixed it. though, everybody. Just, just so you guys know, this whole thing was fixed for sure. Sports aren't real. Um <laughs> they were tired of Mark Cuban having fun in Texas. They wanted to like take him down a peg. So like let San Antonio do it again. Oh um, they wanted Popovich goodness. to be considered one of the greatest coaches ever. And like, he's great, but he had a bad run. So <laughs> now they're going to make sure he ends on top and retire as well. This was fixed. Oh my This was fixed. Goodness. This was fixed. Thank you Couple so much. rings coming to San Antonio very soon. I can feel it smelly. It's okay. We're getting a ring this year. Oh, I hope so. Lakers in six. I'm down. Lakers in six. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I don't really, I don't really hate the Lakers. I guess you're supposed to as a Spurs fan, but it has a couple times in the, my lifetime. But not when I was like really into it, into it. I'm, a, I'm just a LeBron fan. I'm a LeBron and Kobe fan. I can't really hate on the Lakers. It's hard but, to hate the Lakers when you live in LA. Yeah, that's true Because it's also too. so good too. for the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, when the team does well, the city does well. So like, whether it's you more like, fun. It's more fun when the Lakers are good too. Like when the NBA, like the NBA is better when the Lakers are good. Yeah, whether you like sports or not, yeah. root your team on because it's good for your city. Yeah, yeah people yeah. are going to travel there. People are going to want to come see it. Your restaurants are going to do better. Like everything's going to do better if your teams are doing well. So like, if you don't like sports, like go buy a jersey still. Like support your city. It's a thing. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh man, I'm down for the Lakers to win it. I don't really want the Celtics to win it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty gross. It'd be, It'd be nice gross. to see a little Celtics Laker final though. That'd be that's what they've been a lot of those. For sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a few. It's been a few right of those. Now. I don't want that at all. It's been a couple, it's been a couple <laughs> of those. I, I, I don't want that at all. Um, Jason Tatum is a Kobe fan. Mm-hmm. Oh, and like he's a, gonna he should have been, 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 been on the Lakers. Crazy huh? Kobe fan. So the last <laughs> thing I want is a dude with Mamba mentality. Jimmy's kind of him though, but he can't do it alone. I think I'd much rather play the Heat. For sure. I would much rather play the Heat. Yeah. Um, Jimmy's dealt, but Jimmy, I don't know. There's some, oh, there's something out there that, that's cursed against Jimmy. He got like that Charles Barkley vibe a little bit. <laughs> Damn, he got the Charles Barkley. You say he's never going to win. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> it's just what I believe. That's fucked up. And I love, mm-hmm. I love Jimmy, but I just, it's just deep in my souls. That's what I feels. I feel that. Damn, Jamal Murray dropped 31 last night. That's Joker dropped like same thing, huh? AD dropped 40 though. Oh, dude, lost. Okay. It's okay because we're going to win um, a lot of the games. If you guys watch the game, shout out to the Asians. Rui Hachimura is going to be the changer in this series. Ooh, we are going to win this series. Thank you awesome. to Rui. I was down for Lonnie Walker to go out. He's a former Spur. Let we, we let him have you guys for, or let him have it for free, very much. Fuck. Love that. Like $8 million. God. He's going off, though. Shout out Lonnie Walker, man. He cut his hair. He was a legend on the Spurs. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> First round pick, you know? Did what his thing. Really? Yeah, he was like 14th. Damn, thanks. We really appreciate that. It's all right. It's all right. Didn't want to be in San Antonio, I guess. I mean, it's not the most attractive city, but you know what? Tough place. Tax free or whatever. On I mean, I'm not mad. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Victor's going to be nice and set up. <coughs> big old women around him. Come on now. Come on. The big old San Antonio women. You've heard of it, bro. Charles talks about it all the time. <laughs> Let's go! Victor, come on down. I already got my, uh, there's a picture in my phone of him in his first jersey. 
<laughs> I'm still on the big women thing. I'm, I'm going to leave that one somewhere else as well. We're going to just <laughs> shoom, right past that Move one. on to the main topic huh, of the podcast today. A real informative one. I'm surprised we haven't talked about this yet, actually. We got the BHO versus solvent list discussion. It says <laughs> BHO versus hash, but I guess there's, you know, it's BHO versus solvent list, right? Fair. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Oh, I mean, all of it, we're all hash heads here, huh? You like the hash more? You like the hash? Wait, what's your favorite rosin right now to smoke? Your favorite just solventless anything right now to smoke, Barney? Dog breath, hash assassins. Mm. I just took a dab of that right now. So that's shit right there that you got yeah. on your little something? It's, it's a different wash. Like, everything's really wet right now when it comes to hash. Oh. Like, everything's got that, like, soppy, sappy, wet feel to it. That butter. And, like, this stuff wash dry. Mm. Like, Whoa. no matter what we want to do, like, it came out more on, like, that six-star powder hash feel to it. Nice. Um, and that's just how it looks, and that's how it came. And, like, instead of adding terpenes from another thing, instead of changing it, we ran with it. But the terps come out spectacularly. Ooh. It's unbelievably shelf-stable because, like, it can't dry out, really. Like, it's wow. already there. Yeah. Um, but that's probably my favorite right now, and I think... It's weird. It's strange because we might not keep making it. Oh, no. It's rare. It's just because the market doesn't want a dry hash. Mm. And like as much as I may try and educate people like. Bro, there's no terps in this. Yeah. Is that a is that a rough part about it sometimes? Like the shit that you really like, just the market doesn't like. And you're like, ah, we're not going to see this anymore. I mean, it's why I work for who I work for. Mm -hmm. Like for Green Dog, especially they don't care. Mm. He puts out the weed that he wants to smoke and Hell pretty much yeah. exclusively. Yeah. Um, he won't put out what's popular. He just, he puts out what he likes. So like, yeah. he's like, oh, how are you guys ahead of the trends? I was like, I don't know. He just, he kind of does it selfishly. He's like, this is what I like. We're going to grow that. Nice. I like that. If you get stuck with the weed, what else are you going to do? Smoke it. You smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> smoke it. I mean, at the end of the day, like worst <laughs> comes to worst, like you're going to smoke it. And if you got to sell it, <clears> you can tell people like, yo, this is my favorite weed. Yeah. Nothing like a good smoke. But, you know. Um, you more of a flower dab kind of guy right now. I'm definitely on the flower side. Nice. Um, pretty heavily. The dab world, and I get this question a lot, actually. It's not a matter of high or flavor or preference, and I'll see if you agree. <clears throat> the thing that changes is, is how much time I have. Mm. Mm. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I could see that for so sure. So time and setting means more to me than what high I want or what flavor I'm chasing. Like, okay. Okay. If I'm in a sesh situation, obviously we're taking dabs. Right. Like, come on. That's what we're doing. Just sitting down or smoking. Yeah. Um, Got time. You know what I mean? If we're popping through somewhere, we're probably going to smoke a joint. Smoke a blunt. Well, um, it's like you're in a rush. Maybe you need just rip a bong hit. Bam. And like, you know, for the house, I'm always smoking bong rips. It's my preferred way to smoke weed. Mm. Um, Cause efficiency is sort of my thing. Okay. Nice. Nice. ADHD leads to lots of ideas and lots of things to do. So I smoke weed and run freak, around. Freak out. <laughs> freak out a little bit. It's just weed speeds me up. It doesn't slow me down. Nice. All of it or just some of it? Most of it. Mm. But there um, is that some that just puts you to sleep. You think? It's how much I smoke. Ah. Because usually it's, it's almost like for alcohol for a lot of people. Right, right. Where like one drink will take the edge off and sort of set them free. Okay. Four drinks will bring out a monster. <laughs> you know, hey, who's that guy? Like Green Dog always says like he gets blackout high. <sighs> That's a fucking lot of weed. That's a lot. But he gets like, like blackout high like where that. he's like, yo, dude, like my bad. I get kind of aggressive when I get too high. <laughs> <laughs> like, Everybody's like, you're joking, right? And I was like, no, nah, like, he'll start, like, bushing at you. And you're like, oh, fuck you. what you doing? And you're like, what are you doing, dog? Like, I don't know. I'm fading. You want to wrestle? Fading, like, yeah. like, chill out, dude. And it's like, yo, like, the dog's We are not of, out of jujitsu class. The dog's coming like, He's a full-size guy, though. <clears throat> like, if I'm... Yo, you are a full-size guy as well. <laughs> I'm sorry to break that to you. You're a whole-ass grown adult. Full-size. If they found your skeleton, they'd be like, oh, they'd be like, this guy. is a full size guy. You might <laughs> honestly, they might be like, this guy's pretty big. So I really appreciate that. I think that's one of the kindest they'd things be like, someone's ever said to me. Definitely <laughs> above average. Um, <laughs> the problem is, is like all the fat when you die goes away. 
Yeah, it's just going to be the skeleton. It's just a skeleton. So, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. tell if I was fat and I, which I have been getting fatter proudly. Thank you. Um, no, nah, just, just bone the structure wise. They're just like, damn, yeah. He was pretty, he was pretty, <laughs> thick, he was thick. Yeah. <laughs> thick guy. He had three C's. Mm-hmm. Um, but I fit in the back of a Honda Civic. I ride coach on an airplane. I mean, I could fit in the back of a Honda Civic. Yeah. No I'm, I'm a regular I, sized, you know, human. Me too. Like, I'm not, I'm not a full size human. I mean, yeah. What's the limit when you yeah, get like full what, size? What when is, is like the yeah. threshold? Is Eric full size? I'm so confused. I think I'm mini. Who's yeah? Who's full size? Yeah. <laughs> dude, like I'm, I'm, I'm a compact size. Who the fuck is human. full size, dude? Am I full size? You're pretty damn close. <laughs> what the fuck? What does that mean? Okay, so for instance, like I think it's just is stature, it a weight? Huh? Is it a just weight stature? thing? Just it's a stature thing. Yeah, just I could like, I could see it. I could feel it. It's also like where, <laughs> what do you mean? It's I also like where you fit. I think we're going like Wi-Fi bars right now in terms of like okay. How tall are you? Okay, how about this? How tall are you? Like 5'10". I mean, that's pretty fucking full size. <clears throat> How many stools do you have in your house? How many stools do yeah. I have? What the fuck does that like even mean? Like you stand mean? or sit on? Let you stand on. N- me? None. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, the you're fuck? You're full size. You're full size. I have yeah, two Eric stools doesn't in my use house because I got to reach 5'10", <laughs> bro. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if it's higher than that, I just inefficient building. Like, how, why, why can't I reach this? Like, it's fucking tall. Because we are compact sized humans. <laughs> Eric is, not, Eric is 5'10". No, that's we're like, huge. Okay, He's so like, basically six foot tall. So like the top of the oh, fridge that's for right. you? That's is a good compliment. Good guess. <laughs> good guess. <laughs> <laughs> like the this top is great of the gas fridge right for you. That's what I tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Do you actually just tell everybody you're six foot? <laughs> nah, I'm thinking pretty close. <laughs> you're like, yeah, whatever. I'm like six foot I, on the I round up. On a round up. What's your variable delta on six feet? Like if it's two inches, you're for sure six feet. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, five ten six. Yeah, it's like, like if you were a college athlete, they'd be listing you like six one. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. They'd be like, yo, Eric Khan, six one, two ten. <laughs> All sure. muscle. And then you do the NBA or the combine and they'd be like, yo, why is he five nine? <laughs> like, what the fuck? They measured him with the shoes on and his hair. Like <laughs> <laughs> that shit's so true though. Like fuck. Yeah. people be losing inches when they go to the combines. I noticed true. that. I noticed that when I used to watch shit like that. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, because that's why Wemby actually is seven five. Ooh. Like, oh, I'm, but he's listed 7'3". No, they said 7'3 in that article, didn't they? I swear he's bigger. He could, he could still be growing. He's only 19. That's true. true. Can dead ass still, nah, bigger. dead ass. Oh he can literally God. still be growing. He's going to be generation. He can grow to like 25. I'm so mad. Can you imagine he's like 7'6"? <laughs> How much does he weigh? Uh, let's, see, let's see the Wemby stats. What does he weigh? The Spurs are going to have to give him so much money after his first contract. It's going to be ridiculous. Yeah, but who he's cares? Gonna be the top guy. They're going to sell we'll everybody. They're going to they're gonna rebuild. You rebuild space. off this hey, guy, right? Dinking. You build a whole team <laughs> off this guy. I mean, that's what the Angels are supposed to do with Shohei, and that's not working His out. wingspan is eight foot, bro. So he's already 230 pounds. But at 7'3", that's super skinny. So he needs to be like, oh, he doesn't need to be anything, but. The skinnier he's the gonna, better. No, nah, he's going he's gonna to put on 20 pounds for sure. 20's chill. Like, dude, what if he, what's the, the guy that plays on the Bucks? The top NBA prospect oh, since LeBron. That guy was real skinny too when he came to the NBA he and then he skinny. put Look on him like. just shooting over people though. Like, what are you going to do? Oh, he's super gonna... skinny. Damn, that's 230 pounds, but it's just seven foot three. You have a lot of bones and shit. Yeah. That's crazy. Giannis is not. Was the Victor Wembenyama sweepstakes? No, but the, but the honest guy, wasn't he mad skinny too? Yeah, but like Giannis is called the Greek freak. Cause like he yeah, has literally gone. Yeah, but y'all like, talking about this guy, generational talent and shit. So he could do the same thing. He could be size. He can't carry that weight though. Like Giannis How do you isn't know? this big. How big is Giannis? Six ten, maybe. That's pretty fucking big, bro. That is a big guy. That's a, he not seven foot though, bro. Five inches. How is, big was Shaq? Shaq was such a tank, bro. He's a what the fuck? This is crazy gas. He's a mix of Magic Johnson, Steph Curry, Will Chamberlain, and Kareem Abdul. Yo, that's just crazy. Steph, I don't know about all that. I don't know Steph, about all Steph that. Steph Curry. I don't know about Whoever all that. This article is a hater. That's crazy. Steph Curry. <laughs> Just, yeah. just call him tall Kevin Durant and get back over like, like deal with him. Tall KD is the one. No, this guy's this guy's gonna be fucking awesome to watch uh Lengthy play KD. for a lot of people. That's awesome he's going on a team that you like. You're still Let's go. You're fucking the worst, stuck. dude. His future with the Spurs is seen as destiny. Do you think he would smoke? It was hat? written French Sports Daily, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was scary. <laughs> there are photos of a young woman Yama wearing his Parker Spurs jersey. Nice. That's what you said. He even yeah. played for a French team Parker owns. Now he'll play for Greg Popovich, who guided Parker's career. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Damn, look how big God. his hands are. That ball looks not real. Oh, it doesn't. It looks crazy. Yeah, that ball looks like a fucking tennis ball in his hand. What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, that's you see him fucking, doing things you wouldn't have even guessed someone weird. could do. 
Oh, like the one where he did the put back dunk off the miss three. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. That's actually oh so God. crazy. If y'all don't understand what that means, that's impossible. <laughs> that's like, crazy. He's just a big man on the court. Yeah. Just a. I think we're really excited about one Minyama. Dude, I just want to see him just fucking. Come on, he can finish. He can finish. What? <laughs> He's so big, he looks goofy. <laughs> it's like a big, it's like a big puppy. His defense. Oh my god, another block. But he's insane. Bro. He's insane, bro. Now I think this guy puts on some 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 weight. Just give it to Wimby. So like, look, he's in the paint right now. Just, yeah. just got use his cheat code. He needs to do it every time. Get off me. There was a couple of these guys that like didn't pan out though. Like true. And like not, they never got drafted this high though. Like there was a guy named Thon Maker. Does this guy get bullied by someone big though? Like if Shaq was in here, does Shaq just bully the fuck There's out of him down low? He's dominating a Shaq right now. Bah, the closest it. thing is probably Giannis to Shaq. Like, no, because even Giannis doesn't have like, like that big weight to him. Right? Yeah, exactly. Like, There's nothing really close to Shaq. Shaq right was like 350 pounds. Maybe, a new guy that just came up in the D League. Wasn't Shaq like 350 Ooh. pounds? He's thick. <laughs> That's <laughs> a thick boy. Like, <laughs> Shaq was just huge. It's just a tank, bro. Yeah. And he can move. That was an extra large human. Bro, that was a, I mean, that's XXL. off the, that's an off the charts. <laughs> yeah. He's not, not even, very many people are born that big. No, nah, that's a big, that's a big man. Like, I go back to Anthony Davis. Like, Anthony Davis is what, like, they want Jason Momoa to look like. Yeah. Like, we all yeah, think Jason yeah. Momoa is big. Mm -hmm. And then you, like, put Jason Momoa next to freaking Anthony Davis, and you're like. Is Anthony Davis seven foot tall? Yeah, like, he's like an inch under, I think. It's so fucking insane. But it's just the rest of the build on him is, like, he's an, like, he. He's just one of those guys, like, if I had to, like, go back a thousand years and, like, see someone in, like, the war field, like, I would change sides. Like, that dude is going to kill everybody. Like, we're like, all I don't want to fight this guy. <laughs> like. They're gassing us, bro. Look at all these news articles. <laughs> I'm just, I'm telling you, bro. This is absolutely fixed. Oh, my God. Adam so Silver, I can't believe you were bought, bro. <laughs> like, I know you don't like Jordan. I know y'all don't like Michael, but like LaMelo Ball with Wemby, we deserved that. What if we went to the Charlotte? We no deserved way. that. No okay. Way. The universe needed to see LaMelo no with Wemby. Way. This, is, this is absolutely trash. That would not have, nah. Dude, all that flash with, oh, that would have been. Charlotte, Charlotte would have ruined Wemby. Damn. Oh, yeah. Now it's going to be great. <laughs> He's going to play the most boring, <laughs> boring type of basketball on the planet. Generational yeah. talent who's going to be like, hey, <laughs> check this out. Two dribbles, pick and roll. Look at how good I move in the post. <laughs> Thanks, He's Timmy. Quick 25, 10, 10 every game. He might just do a triple every game. Do you, and do you know Win why? a couple rings. Oh, and do you know why Tim Duncan's not in the conversation of top five? Hit him. Hit him with the facts. It's really simple. <laughs> hit him with the, the facts. The NBA is a business and he did not drive revenue. <laughs> it's small Rolled market. Up. San Antonio's pretty small market. Yeah, Texas. Yeah, do? that's not a big market at all. <laughs> San Antonio. Psst. It's about as small market <laughs> as it gets. Just so we're clear, Texas, I'm the one saying y'all are big and great, and he's saying y'all are small. I'm just uh, everyone just saying knows San who's Antonio's defending? a small market team. Stadium small. Versus the like Dallas. Of course. Yeah. Way smaller than Dallas. Smaller than Houston. Really? For sure. I don't fucking know. I can't argue with him. He's not wrong. But I have no I clue. Hate the Spurs so much. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. They're like everything I hear is like, dog. Spurs are monsters. Like, dude, they 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 rivaled us. Like that was like the Spurs. Timmy Duncan. That's him. Manu Ginobili. Come on, man. Mr. Parker, Fundamental. Greg Popovich. He's the goat. I think Manu hurt me more than anyone. He's just fluid. I like Manu. Manu was so smooth with it. Yeah. Like, he just he just he was so smooth with it. They just played some great basketball. That's why I, I hate when he went to the Spurs. It's just, it's just not fair. It's not how it's supposed to go. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. We got hold with Kawhi. Kawhi was supposed to be with us for a while. Dipped on us. The robot. I mean, let's hope y'all got a better medical staff now because you're going to have the same thing with Wemby. That wasn't even, he was fine. Kawhi, it was his uncle. He was listening to his uncle. He was oh, like, it, I what, trust what? my uncle more than the medical staff. Let me leave the team. Was Kawhi fine? No, Kawhi's still hurting. Shout out Lakers though. Should have came here. We got a better staff than them Clippers, my boy. Hey, the Shout Clippers, out dude. the Lakers. Oh, man. I wish Paul George was healthy. That would have been a nice little something. I can't stand the Clippers. No comment. <laughs> I just like healthy basketball, great basketball games, you know? Kawhi is a bitch, though. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck him. <'em. laughs> I was like, no, we're good. Except for like...
Except, except for Kawhi. Kawhi. Except for Kawhi. It's funny because when we saw the San Diego State thing earlier, I almost shouted out the Aztecs and something told me not to. And it's apparently Eric's hate for Kawhi. Hey, man. Kawhi Leonard's just not that guy anymore. He hit one shot. Everybody was so stoked on <laughs> That was a pretty crazy <laughs> shot. That was a pretty crazy shot. Unreal. That was a, you know, unreal. I watched that all the time. Just it, a great shot. It was good. Okay. Bounce. All time. Bounce. Wait, we have to ask you the question. What do you think is better? BHO or hash? Oh, I'm not snobby about it. I'll smoke some BHO if it's good enough, but I feel like there's just not as much quality BHO as there is quality solventless stuff. But there is bad of both for sure. But more times than not, I'll smoke the air ooh, solventless over BHO. Mm. Personally. I don't think he answered the question. I like solventless more. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. What about you, Tim? Um... I'd prefer, like, if I could pick, if I had the best of both to sit in front of me, I'd probably pick the BHO. Oh. Yeah. Cause I feel like, uh, just for my personal preference, uh, taste wise, I like OG. Mm. And um, OG usually doesn't wash well. That's what I'm told. So just, you don't see a lot of solventless, um, like OG, just like strains. Yeah. So I would love some like 2015 hardcore OG batter like that'd be dope it's just really good BHO I'm super down for that right now like it just sounds tasty but I like some good solventless but like you said there's good and bad in both um, yeah. the top tier batter think is insane the problem the problem with BHO nowadays is just like it gets a bad rap from like um, people just running old material then using like different techniques like uh, like CRC or whatever other techniques are doing to like remediate the shitty color in it which is like resulting in better looking product that they can sell. But uh, it's really like often not great. A lot of people get this negative like taste in their mouth about BHO because they're like, oh no, that's the shitty stuff. I mean, it didn't used to be the shitty stuff. Yeah. It used to be the fire. It did. And like that top tier battery is like up there. I feel like. Yeah, and there's still some, there's still some around. Like even like 710 will make some really good live resin um, mm. every now and then. But I just don't see it. I don't see it a lot. I would like some though. I would like what about some. you, Barn? I I have a confusing answer, but I Ooh. always do. Mm. Um, if I had to choose one jar from a hundred jars at random, okay, I would want them all to be hash. Okay, nice, makes sense. <clears throat> I like it. Okay, but if I had to pick one style that I had to smoke for the rest of my life, I would choose BHL. Mm. And the reason is, is I will get sick of smoking hash so, so quick comparatively. Okay. Mm. okay. Interesting. How come? Just yeah. boring. There's like six strains of hash that wash. Yeah. Uh, That's it. Makes sense. Six. And you might get a few, you'll get di some different ones every now and then because people will try some shit, but then they'll lose their fucking balls on it. Mm. And just, they'll be like, well, we're not doing that fucking run again. Yeah. I'm going back to the fucking other one to run the trap. Like, mm -hmm. like, or the GMO, yeah, or cross the, you know, like yeah, cross them together, <laughs> put some papaya in there. Yeah, yeah. it's like there's a reason. That's why. That's my first thing was that is that that OG you just don't get because mm. it's like people just lose money. Or you're like, hey, I'm gonna pay fucking two hundred bucks a gram for this. Like, oh no, right? Like I like blueberry terps. Ooh, like I love blueberry terps, and like no one got a good blueberry hash. Yeah, that makes sense. Like that's not doesn't it doesn't exist. exist. It's just no. not there. Um, so it's just I think the best dab in the world is still probably hash. Like if there was like if I had to pick this one thing that's gonna be you could get everything right, I'm sure that a six star hash would still be the best mm. dab in the world. Mm -hmm. Nice. But as I said, like I'll get sick of that in a month. Yeah. Even if it's the best, I'm still gonna get sick of it in a month. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah, like it's like a desert island. I'll take BHO. Uh, but if I could, you know what I mean? But if I could just pick a strain or a jar, I'd probably, you know, that's, that I kind of I kind of see what you mean. If it was a desert island, I could only, I have to take like something like that's a lifetime supply. I'd be f flavors of BHO. It's also because I get sick of every flavor other than gas. And you don't really gas get that. Gas is the one that you can just smoke. You don't really get that in the raws and our hash. Yeah, because like, people I can just, just don't gas, run it. Like, and, you know, it's, and I don't even realize I like it. Except for that the jars disappear faster. <laughs> You're like, holy shit, why is this jar gone? Like, like I mean, dude, like this sour, like I just keep ripping through it because it's like, it's like a sour <clears throat> gas and I can't, I, I just, I mean, I just, I can't stop smoking it. 
And then like another thing with like the whole like solventless is just better for you too. I feel like it's like a big misconception for people because they all stay, they, you know, they hear solventless and they're like, oh, this stuff must be great. There's no chemicals in here, right? BHO, it's got the chemicals. But I'm like with, with solventless, what a lot of people don't realize is people can also be washing like moldy fucking material that they can be, their hash could be moldy that they're pressing. Like yeah, there's all kinds of fucking things that could be going wrong in your solventless product. That, you know, maybe you, you, you need to be thinking about rather than just considering, hey, this is this is 100 percent healthy because it has the label solventless. I get into this argument with a dear friend of mine all the time. I want to hear it. All what is, the time. What, <laughs> what is the argument? And like, we're going to I don't even like we shouldn't even put this on here. This is going to like fuck that. I don't cause care. a whole thing for me. Let's cause all the things um, which is people believe that they can taste the difference between indoor and outdoor hash. Oh, yeah. oh I think that's silly. Yeah, that's... I think that's silly. Yeah, I don't think you can. Um, and the reason is they can taste like veganic versus non-veganic hash. <laughs> what? They're fucking high. And I'm down for that, but that's... Uh, I mean, like, sure, I guess. Um, I don't know. I know I can't do that. That's, yeah, that's not happening. There's fucking no way. But I suck at determining, like, even flavors on weed. I don't know. That sounds crazy, but there is people like wine sommeliers and shit like that. But Maybe the way the, the thing we have found the common ground on is though, you can taste bad weed in hash form. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. And like, sure. if it's bad, then there's a certain flavor that a lot of us are pretty accustomed to, whether it's like that grassy taste or something like that. But like you can taste bad, bad extracts. So if they're considering yeah. bad extracts, nutrient or whatever like that's sure maybe you can taste something but i don't think we agree so hmm. i just i'm a big lover of rare terpenes and like rare okay. profiles i enjoy when i'm smoking hash primarily that like the flavors be wild on it because like as i said i have to take a bunch of time to smoke it <laughs> yeah like it's not my normal bong rip it's not no. it has to be a special treat for me yeah, it makes sense. Um, I'm not just going to smoke hash to get high. Like, I really enjoy the process of it all. Got you, got you. Um, I smoke weed to get high. It works better. You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> weed is better at getting, flour is better at getting you high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could agree. I could agree. <laughs> hash, to, hash does taste good, though. Yeah. Fuck. There's no one's like arguing that. with you on that God, one. God, it tastes good. It tastes delicious. Mm. Right? Oh, it tastes I almost, I almost wish I didn't get as high smoking hash, to be honest, and it just tasted the same. Just smoke it lower. No, still get high though. <laughs> <laughs> Did everybody like, just hear? If that? I can get fifty percent as high, but still smoke, I would smoke more hash, but like, not like get tired from it. That'd be awesome because it tastes so good. Mm. Everyone, this is why every hash smoker is broke. We are smoking. all trying to figure out how to smoke more hash and not get as high. I'm like, seriously, I don't want to like, want to take a nap from this. I would like to, I would like to smoke smoking. three more dabs. Like, please don't make me pass out. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I missed a quarter of the Lakers game yesterday. Just pass high. out. Yeah, there's no way. It was dangerous for me to keep sitting in my chair. First quarter was really <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> like, I closed my eyes for like the second part of that second quarter. And all of a sudden, my wife was yelling at the end of halftime. And I was like, dude, you couldn't have yelled during halftime. <laughs> my bad. Sorry again. Um, so we're all, we're, we're all on the same thing with like, uh, if we had to pick one, we'd pick the solventless, some really good hash. Yeah. At the time. But like at the maybe, table, if there's like a selection. And then me and you were kind of on this like desert island weird thing where it's like we would long term, if we could only pick one, I'd go BHO. Mm. Just because the flavors, like the OG, I just can't. If I could get an unlimited supply of OG six star hash, then sure, I'm on, I'm on that. I'm willing mm. to bet that we can convert him by the end of this conversation. To BHO? I like good BHO. No, it's not even, I mean, it's more just like. It's just understanding the thought behind it. it. Is that like. Do you really only want to smoke six strains? No. You know I mean, like, maybe there 10. is more variety. Yeah, there is more sure. ability to do it a different way. But nobody's way. really making, like, not, not nobody, but not a lot of people are making great BHO right now. That part there's, I can't there's disagree like with. 90 plus percent of live resin BHO out there is trash. Okay. You got to try hard to find the good BHO. And that's why people are like, well, fuck that. But that's go smoke this shit. That's mm. why I'm hoping someone comes out and does it really well. Mm. 
-hmm. It's like someone just retakes that market because it's needed. Mm -hmm. Like I had a blueberry muffin from Earl Hill last year that like I still keep him with me Ooh. because like it's it's like that. Blueberry it's the one. Muffin. Um, the blueberry. You said you like the blueberry terps. What's and your favorite BHO consistency? You know, oh, blueberry. jam. Oh, nice. But I'm the same way for hash. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like, well. I like dry like this or I like jam. Um, nice. I'm one or the other. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, what, like that wet batter that everybody's used to right now is really not my preference. Mm, gotcha. Um, Jam's like a little more consistency and like you can grab at it a little more. And like, it's also, it's there's like, it almost clumps, feels like almost diamonds. Diamonds. Yeah, yeah, I was going like, to say it's like crushed up. And there's just sand or something. There's something like, like that, like a good description. swishing yeah. it around yeah. for some reason. There's yeah. just some joy in there for You me. like the little nice. swish. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was never a peanut butter kid. I was always a jam kid. Ah, interesting. interesting. And I, like I think that. that's like a thing, right? Like how you like your hash? Like if you really like liked, peanut butter or do you like it like yeah, jam? Did that's you want heavy really peanut butter? Did you want heavy jam when you made your I wanted like jelly, not jam, dude. Question. That's a good one. Someone do this. I'm better. You're better at this. Uh. How do I do this? <laughs> Ask the question. <laughs> yeah. No, let him, let him do it. He's better. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, are you more peanut butter or are you more jelly? Wait, you put jam, no jelly? That's like the same thing. Isn't that the same thing? I don't know. Is nah, jam and jelly the same thing? Or preserves. Preserves. Yeah, fruit preserves. There's yeah, I got that sugar-free jam, which is full of preserves. Very John Wayne Nothing but you. preserves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Personal growth, y'all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love way. it. Okay, so, smoke whatever you want though. BHO hash. I don't. I don't fucking care. So okay, let's 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 talk about the things that do exist though. Like, why do people dislike BHO? It just gets a bad rep. I feel like that CRC little campaign yeah. for a couple of years kind of fucked everything up. Well, it's just then that all the all the material just f f it has is flowing into solventless right now. The good material. People are running fucking last year's trim for BHO. See, like mm. I I think it's way more fundamental. I think people are scared of butane still. Hmm. Like, I think people are scared of butane, but like, yeah, but I feel like that's like an unfounded thing because like people use like like most people chemicals and all kinds of shit. Like, I feel like to be honest with you, if you ask like, the average live resin smoker, what do you think, what gas do you think this is extracted with? I don't think and it's not, and most butane. of the time it's like, not even, don't even know. It's not even they just, just butane, see live resin, they see a percentage it's and a and mixture of it gases. Though. It's, it's usually a mixture of gases though, too. Like it's not, it's not just like a hundred percent propane. You know, there's, there's propane in there. I'm sure they'll use another shit, you know, whatever blend that they've fucking concocted that works the best and makes the best yield or whatever the fuck it is for their machines. Like it's not, it's such a science nowadays too. These guys have these fucking machines that are worth so much money, bro. They're fucking pressing a button and everything's going like, they're just filling socks, dude. Like and loading the machine and letting the machine go to work. Like it's, the BHO is fucking, you're not smoking chemicals when it's done right. Like it's just not, that's like a fucking myth. Like you can test it. It's non-detectable. Like you can test more fucking butane in the fucking, some of the sh products you consume. I'm sure there's butane in like weird things that you have no idea. You don't think there's dirty water? Water is probably the worst, dude. Ooh. That's probably the worst thing for people. <laughs> Ooh, is the water, water that they're washing your hash with clean? <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, that's probably worse than the fucking mold thing that I'm even, I'm even saying. Because can you can imagine if they're washing the hash with bacteria filled water and they might not even know they might not even they might think they're doing it right and then Shout they're like they're like why yeah. am i sick i'm smoking solvents dude i got this fucking cold and my stomach's all hurting whoa i don't think i've ever got have you gotten sick like that from smoking weed some guaranteed people have oh, for sure. i've had i've had allergic reactions from weed but not same, like same not like sick well i guess i get sick after but i smoke all the time so i don't know if it was the smoke or like something you know can't just there's like, like there's, there's, no gap there's, of the yeah, there's yeah, like this yeah. one batch i definitely got sick but i don't remember if it was just that <laughs> one like i was smoking a few strains <laughs> that's what i'm saying you never know yeah you just got to be careful with it any whatever you're smoking it doesn't matter if you're smoking flour you're smoking solvents you're smoking bho mm -hmm. you're just eating edibles you're fucking hitting distillate with your vape it doesn't matter the end of the day, you just gotta you gotta try to just verify the source and make sure it's it's tested by a reliable testing facility, which is fucking difficult in itself. You gotta yeah. fucking really work to find out if your shit's safe. <laughs> like, it's tough, man. It's tough out here. Or know your grower. Not everything yeah. has to be tested. I like testing that. It's not necessary. I like that. I don't want to be that person that says like no, if you I live like in a it. community where you can't get testing. It's very hard to get testing when you, what's, I think this, I think it would be nice if there was easy access to testing for just the average individual. That would be nice. But it's like, Hey, you got 500 bucks to test this fucking weed. It's like, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Shit's crazy. I've gotten a few like people reached out to me after I did the <coughs> show actually. They're like, Hey, like, how do I change my network of people that I know? And I was like, find out who grows your weed. 
Mm. Yeah. Find out who grows weed in your town at all. And like, what else? Like, stop <laughs> trying to buy weed from whoever sells it to you. Start trying to find out who's still growing weed in your town. Fuck it's yeah. like, how do I find Max. that person? I was like, there's a hydro store in almost every town. Yeah. That is your Go new spot. Go hang out there. <laughs> Hell yeah. You want a cool job this summer? Go work at a hydroponic store. Tell your parents you're learning how to farm. <laughs> how you like them apples, kids? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's good stuff, right? Oh there. my god! So my thing about butane is, I think, and I could be wrong. If someone could Google this to make sure that I'm right, I think like almond oil and avocado oils and like all of that, like a bunch of the normal products we use are all refined with butanes or like flammable mm-hmm. solvents. Right? No, hundred percent. That's what that's what I was saying. Like, I'm sure we can look some shit up right now, and I'm like. Why does that have butane residual things in it? And you're like, what the fuck? Because they'd be flash fucking freezing or using it as a solvent to strip it of shit. Like, it's weird. Mm, a lot nice. of essential oils, like all these machines that that people use in like labs and stuff. It's just like rebranded from other fucking like industries. Yeah, hundred percent. And they charge mm. cannabis companies ten x and say, ha ha, gotcha, bitch. But like <laughs> when we were smoking BHO. Oh man, that, that shit, shit was bad. Oh, it was being made out of a PVC tube with really nasty butane. All dark. Yeah, it was gross. Green. Oh, screw the dark part. The dark part's not even the issue. Catch on fire. Like, yeah, the, the part is, is like, I, oh. I call it the waterfall. <laughs> he doesn't even know. The goop. <laughs> I love that. Um, I won't say that someone's here in studio laughing with us. Um, <laughs> it's great. Um, so the, when you lit the bowl with the flame, uh-huh. the butane would literally have so much in there that when it would fume off, it wouldn't even like just like evaporate. It would sort of light on fire and pour off your bowl piece, almost like liquid. Like a volcano. And you see like these little sparks <clears> and <throat> just like off the edges. And you'd still smoke it? I mean, dude, that's how it's supposed to be. Do you want to waste it? How excited you were? Like, that's how it's supposed to be. Oh, look at it going off. Like, that's like what makes it gas. Like, 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 like you're doing what you're supposed to do, burning it. it all off. Hit oh. it. Like, oh, bro, check this out, dog. See, look, I'm getting all the butane out of this. Whoa. And like, no, we weren't. <laughs> but <laughs> when like when I heard about vacuuming, like vac ovens. Mm. Oh I, man. I think I was four years into making like butane already. Before the vac oven, I remember my friend one time he came over and he had a mason jar and he had this he was like, yo, watch what I'm about to do. And he took my he grabbed my little shatter slab that we had made. And he put it in this jar and he had a hand vac with just a vacuum. And oh. he like, he did a hot water bath with the fucking little, little warm water, put the mason jar in the warm water, started pumping away. I was like, what, what the fuck's going on? And the thing started muffing up. I was like, what the fuck is happening right now, bro? I'm like tripping on him. And he's like, yeah, that's butane still in there, bro. And I was tripping, dude. <laughs> I was tripping on this kid, dude. I remember him. Shout out to Aaron, dude. That kid was tripping me out. Nice. That hand vacuum, dude. He had the Helped hand vacuum. Yeah, he's like, you should sell butane in it. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> what happened the first time someone told you about whipping? Oh, man, that was even cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you could definitely make some really good so stuff. So I didn't know about what whipping was. So what like. Was whipping? When you made BHL, a brick. it comes out in like this liquid, clear, delicious goop. Mm-hmm. And it's not a consistency you can really use well. So mm-hmm. I went probably a couple of years before like my one homie came over and was like, bro, you got to whip that. Oh. What do you mean? Like he literally goes out and buys a dental tool and you sit there and you literally are like. Yeah. And you whip it. Like you would do whipping, cr- like whipped cream, like yeah, same, yeah. exact same idea. I thought he was gonna say like whipping <laughs> on the stove. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> um, but you literally like that was the exact thing you were doing, and it was to like let out more of the butane and to create a different consistency to add more oxygen within it, so like it became something a little bit more malleable, something you can touch. Oh. But. Mm. Ooh, there we go. The weed's working, y'all. That D one's keeping him up, but that purple sticky rice got him down. That's like the hippie speed ball right there. The hippie speed ball. I'm feeling crazy. I feel cross-eyed. Dude, coffee with cannabis is my favorite mind trip in the world. Still, mm, it's a classic. I feel like it goes back centuries. <sighs> Definitely. That was great. That was great. <laughs> I, I, I agree. I just I didn't think I was so historic with the thing that I did every day. I really feel seen now. The ancestors had to have done it. We got videos to react to. Oh, right? shit. What's happening here? A little tournament. Damn, it's just kids fighting, huh? Oh, shit. This is definitely in Asia. You know, tap, little fucker. Wow. About to rip his arm off. That was actually sick. 
Yeah, that was sick. What in the world? That was crazy. Love that kids was, fighting. Love kids fighting. Guys stood him young. Oh, I've seen this video. <laughs> Explosions and shock waves through it. Humans are crazy. The fact we do shit like this is weird. Mm. So what are we doing? Just building a tunnel. Look how happy he is. Yeah, he's excited. He's, he's like, yeah. Cover his ears at all. Fuck no. He's like, I can't hear anyways. Wow. That's trust, yeah. though. You can't yeah, hear shit. Yeah, what if that whole thing just caves? Bro, you're tripping. <sighs> the tunnel? You ever You're been dead, in a big dead. tunnel? You ever been in the Tesla tunnel? Nah. Yeah. Mm, you gotta go. What is that? Is that all bees? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, what the Why are you fuck? in your car? No, those are gummies, dude. Why are you in your car? Right? No, what are they? Why are you in your... Get out. Are they bees? Those aren't bees. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Stop. Bro. I'm not, I'm, I can I'm, literally see the stripes. No, I'm not. I'm refusing to believe I can this. see the stripes. This nah. Why are they in there? Who put the queen bee in there like a dick? Yeah, what are they doing? Find what? the queen and get, get it out of there. Like, what Wait, the fuck? I'm, that's what you have to do. That's not real, dude. That's the only way to solve yeah, that. I thought you, it was real. Uh, do you think it was? I don't know. I don't know, bro. That shit sucked. Wait, I, I didn't no. like it. That's not. No. I didn't um, like it at all. That fucking made me feel weird. Can you imagine? Yeah. Why would you get in the fucking car? Isn't that bad for the world? Like, you, fuck those bees. <laughs> what the fuck? Isn't it like illegal to like move hives without like? I, thought I you, don't know, bro. They fucking jumped me. I had to take them out. Flamethrower. Yeah, dude, you, gotta, fuck you gotta fuck that shit up. Fuck There's them no bees, way. dude. They'll make robot bees if we really need them, bro. Oh, no. Oh, it's about oh, to happen. What is it? There's a little dodgeball volleyball. Oh, my. What the fuck game is this? They're having a good time. That game sucks. Look at the little basketball hoop, bro. No, what the That's fuck? That's a skilled shot. No, what, just, is, what is this game? Is this a... What the... F oh, my God. Why were they throwing it at each other? That one's got a backboard. Are I'm you just, out? If you drop it? I thought they were throwing hands after that. I thought that was like the lead up to like a oh, legit fight. Like they were going to fight yeah, because like, they were like pissed at each other. Like, why'd you fucking do that? I don't think that was the game. I think that was just like a break off right before there was a fight. And then they like calmed down because it was like, yo, you got a good throw. Oh, but they didn't fight. But they, you thought that was, that was not part of the game. Are you sure? There's no way. I feel like the person that didn't catch it is out and you can't play now. Mm. It's, like a, it's like a hybrid dodgeball soccer. But like, why would it's you bugged. have such a big area? Like, just do it indoors. I mean, maybe they don't have an indoors. I don't know. They're using what they got. All right. Come on, man. I was mighty John Wayne of you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the John Wayne thing is kind of nice, honestly. I like the John Wayne thing. I like that. I like that's your new thing for sure. You got to like, uh, you got to print that on your next t shirt. Isn't that mighty John Wayne of you? Dude, shout out to being able to make any t shirt you want. It's kind of sweet. It's yeah, really, it is pretty sweet. It's really a dangerous hobby for me. Mm. Um, but I'm going to continue making. making as many. Yeah, you got an shirts. Airbud shirt on. Yeah, this that's I'm very making some weird shirt. I didn't even really look at it before oh, I got whoa, dressed. Oh, he looks stoned. Airbud. He's got those laser I'm eyes going. My, my visible, my bad. Secure the bag. That's looking. Didn't even realize it said secure the bag. It says the bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like this is the day like I went to go hang out and I printed my Eric Con shirt. Because it looks dope, and let's go. I'm gonna make more shirts because shirts are cool, and shirts we're gonna sweet. make like one or two of each. Because I like it, I think I'll ruin them, and then I can keep wearing them. So we won't have a company or anything. So don't try and ask us to buy stuff. But we're for sure gonna have cool Just shirts that we get to wear. Offs. Like, yay! Thank you. Hell yeah! That's awesome. Probably one of the favorite parts of the show for Tim mm, and I. We got the I comments from shit. last time. What, what do we you got? Guys got for us, man. Wayne O. Longley. I used to drink hella soda. Either or. Sus ass fucking name. There's no way it's his real name, but that's no a good name. No shot, that's a good bro. Name. That's a good name. Um, I used to drink hella soda, either orange, <laughs> Pepsi, or Dew, but soda is so bad now. I drink mostly water or iced tea, feel better, and lost weight. W for Wayne. As far as dreams, I don't feel like I've ever had any problems not having them. I don't know Ooh. if it's because I do more edibles than smoking now, but I have crazy vivid dreams even when I smoke all day, every day. Huh. That's I still like feel like I remember having crazy dreams. I don't know. Maybe my brain is on some different shit. <laughs> he just said he's different in a different way. Love the yeah. podcast. Can't wait for the next. Man's like, yo, I'm built different, bro. I have dreams and get high. When What's up? Sick. And my name is O. Longley. Yeah. No, it's, no, it's just Longley. It's Wayne O. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's not your real name, dude. Wayne, t- Wayne O, tell me your real o name. Oh, Longley dude. does sound like a real last name. Yeah, oh, Longley, I'm believing him. <laughs> Wayne O. With the apostrophe. Yo, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. The, no one. Wayne O, come on, dude, stop it. If that's his real name, I'm sorry for offending you. Dude, it for sure is his real name. No fucking shot. Bro. Wayne, the, the O part, probably not, but Wayne Longley, that's for sure a name. Yeah, but that's the O, nice. what, what, what's the O? Throw the O on the Longley. It works better. Dude. Little nickname. I like it. He's not. He, what if he's not Irish, dude? I think the what was that? What was I the first part too? He doesn't drink soda no more. Soda's bad for you for sure. You had a soda today. A I'm coffee. A little diet. Was it actually diet? Yeah, it's diet. But that's so bad. Diet for you. is so bad. Diet for you. You is get those fake, preservatives. It's fake huh? good for you. It's fake good for you. They're it's, like, yeah, it's good it's for you. But slight, you're gonna. Have, it's just slightly. You're gonna have a fucking soda. stroke in five years of drinking this. It's like last like six a day. Yo, you're gonna fucking yo. Seth was like, shut up, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> Fridge full of d- fucking Pepsi Zero. <laughs> Diet sodas for quitters, dude. <laughs> Don't be a pussy. Like if you drink, gonna, if drink you're regular drink soda, garbage. At least drink the good one. Like, yeah, that's facts. The sugar. I mean, you got to drink like the Mexican Coke. Honestly, if we're just like, that, yeah, that's what you need just to drink. The best just the soda. real. Yeah, just just come on. I'll Let's take just, uh, American Coke in a bottle is better than Mexican Coke in a bottle. Whoa, that is like that that's is like crazy that's not. I, I, zero Dang. people in the comments agree with that. Yeah, I don't zero know if people. I've ever heard. And that. if they agree, they're totally trolling to lie. Because there's that no one in the world even thinks that. Yeah, no one in the world. No, even what, if you went to the, like, even okay. if you went to the deepest southern saying, parts of like, yeah, they'll be like, you know what? I like the Mexican soda. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they like, they like I the gotta Mexican give it Coke. to them on that yeah. one. And it's yeah. like, yo, chill out, bro. You Why are you talking the only like person that? in the world who doesn't? You did like a really good impression soda. right there. Honestly, that was, that was pretty John Wayne. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, pretty John Wayne. Are you dog? You need to calm it down a notch, brother. I need you to slow it down. All right, what's Jacob got for us, man? Jacob E. I'm not a large bong smoker. I wonder what that means. Do you think that means like he just doesn't like big bongs? Or he, likes like, them. he, likes he just them doesn't like them often. Oh, shit. Like, Hold on, we gotta finish this. Yeah, let's, let's get some more context clues. It sounds like he's got something good for us. Context see, clues. Context he clues. said, <laughs> three bowls a day. I said, I'm not good. Good he here. said, but I've been in the habit of smoking at least a couple bowls a day before okay. my joints. Wow, like a medication. Makes an insane world of difference. Okay. Key, I personally wouldn't clean my bong much because it just doesn't get that dirty. Smoking like three bowls max per day. That's huh. bad. That's a, interesting, bad, that's interesting. a bad play. Thank God for that. The, con, um, oh, the conglomerate of content and the snakes that have been that have showed their colors. I'm at least at an eight and a half off of two bowls of sugar apple, <laughs> one sour soda joint, and one trop santo, and one, quote, full metal cherry LR dabs. He's smoking on some shit Yo, I've never heard of before. Jacob's, no, nah, I've had the trop santo. And the LR stands for live resin. Yeah, live resin, oh. bro. Yo, yo, Eric well, how do you know what if it's live rosin? Cooked right This could now. be anything. Live rosin, live resin. I think rosin people spell it out same way like it's yeah, like they're a, like they're like you gotta know it's like a CrossFit uh, person they gotta tell you they're like yo I'm yet. vegan I smoke ash yeah, <laughs> yeah chill out bro that's facts. That's facts. I only smoke <laughs> vegan fuck dude I need to make that what is next, Trump that's the next I've fucking hash Santo. hash I've had drop many things Trop Santo oh you get it in GTA uh, yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Los Santos. I can't wait for next week's episode. Thanks, Jacob. These people are just excited for next week's Jacob, episode. Jacob, we love you. Jacob E, man. Whiskey Neat. Nice. Damn, I thought I said Whiskey name. Meat. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's fucking suck. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Longley and whiskey meat, like <laughs> whiskey meat is a crazy fuck, one. Dude. That's like a I'd name my meat store that or Yo, something. Yo, <laughs> chill the fuck out. What? What did you? Want oh, I guess you don't got meat stores out here. Yo, That's not what? a thing. A Bro, like every thing. few miles, there's a meat store where I'm at. <laughs> You've never had a meat in. store. You've never <laughs> been to a straight meat <laughs> store. Don't lie. Yeah, like a butcher. Like a butcher. Yeah. I thought he was talking about his dick, dude. I was like, <laughs> I was like nah, what the nah, fuck? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> An actual, I mean, I get, nah, there's no butcher there, though. There's no butcher, bro. He's not cutting it for you. It's already cooked and not cooked. It's already there. So do they only sell meat? Yeah. Nah, see, they just have that at the grocery store. You just go inside the oh, deli nah, thing. Bro. Nah. So it's just the deli part? Mm. But he don't cut the meat? Nah. I'm sorry. Jay. Are you sure? It's prepackaged meat, brother. There's only one question that I have. What do you Google when you're looking it up? Do you Google like butcher? Are you literally <laughs> typing in meat store? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you type in meat store, you're going to see some dicks for sure. There's no way that you see dicks. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Even with no safe search on in the world, there is no dick that would show for meat store. <laughs> Maybe on Twitter. 
<laughs> Dude, don't not do Meet it. Meet store Twitter. near me. Wow, the first one. Oh fuck. Oh man, you right, sick safe. guys. Y'all are just sick guys. <laughs> we're bro. safe. Y'all are just dude. sick guys. Yeah, dude, let's go Look, the meat company. Yo, Mario Brothers hey, Meat it's Store. It's not our fault, kid. I am blaming <laughs> Wayno and uh, Longley over here, dude. I guess it'd be a meat market. You know what I mean? All right, I'm down. Not necessarily. Uh, so this is different else. though, because we're in LA. So like, it's called a butcher here. It's a butcher here. It could be a butcher. Yeah. I mean, maybe be it honest, could be it's a like a kind of city here. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, that's hey, that's honestly probably the truth. I, I can definitely name where like six of those are. I got two butchers I can name. Maybe it's all the same shit what though. A name. You sell fucking meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all the same shit. It's good meat. But usually the ones in Texas though sell like exactly like those sell deer and like alligator and fucking. It's like a real meat store, you know, not just a oh, chicken. And beef, I got oh, cow. Beer. Yeah, like, like yo, you. your shit's whack. They'll even sell like the cow hoods. I got or some bear, shit, you know? bitch. Sell yeah, that's damn right. Shout out to all the Texans watching. If you ever been into a meat store, let us know in the comments, man. What did you buy? Yeah, what did you buy at the They'll meat store? They'll sell like dick and balls there and shit for yo, real though. What the fuck? <laughs> like not yo, human, obviously, what? but not human dick and balls, obviously. <laughs> do they? Do they? Uh, <laughs> is it like a pawn store? Can you go in there and sell? What <laughs> negotiate? Yeah, like, hey, I got bear <laughs> dick and balls. <laughs> You'd fit right in, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when are we moving to Texas, man? Come on now. We got to get it over no there, No two man. things, man. No there. Bible and no football. Moving to Texas. <laughs> nice. That's all you need to know. That's it, dude. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Phantom, 76. That's a go-to show right there. What's good, man? Love the Pine Park After Dark episodes. These are always hilarious. I believe the reason there aren't a lot of flights or boat rides to Antarctica is because of the harsh conditions. It's not much of a tourist destination either. So whoever wants to come, you know what you signed up for. Oh, yeah. He said, come like he lives there. Hey. I was, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> the people who actually want to go there are researchers. I'm only speaking of what I've read uh, that collect ice from drilling through the ice, mm. collecting the layers. Ah, makes sense. Research shit. P.S. Dreams do count if even you don't remember it. Uh, I've had many vivid Dude. dreams still while actively smoking weed before bed, but don't wait, wait. But when you do stop smoking, I believe you're able to remember your dreams a little better. I agree. But how do they count if you don't remember them? Who the fuck knows about it? It's like a tree falls in the middle of the woods. Did it really fall? Uh, yeah, but there's like record of that. No, how? Can, no one's We saw can it. go fucking see it on the ground. But it doesn't fall until you witness it fall. Like nothing, you know, like Schrodinger's cat kind of thing. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. I'm no. loving this right now. It's literally like he's saying the things that are coming into my brain. I just get to look at you and be like, that's right. You hear that? Boom. Yeah. What's up, pussy? <laughs> How do you like them apples? Mm -hmm. Spirit fingers. Yep. 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 <sighs> Sorry. It didn't fall. You see? I saw it. Oh. <laughs> you seeing it made it fall. Chicken or the egg. We can keep going. I prefer the chicken because I don't like the taste of eggs. No, it's not the question. Yeah, but that's my answer. Mm. <laughs> so, what the <laughs> fuck? You chicken and eggs. Eggs are just not tasty meal. at all. Really? No. no eggs? That's why I crossed the road. You don't like omelets? <laughs> nah. I mean, I'll eat one. Say nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, eggs are mid for sure. Whoa, even the freshest egg. Wait, hold yeah, on. Yeah, I've had 40 chickens. Hold on. Let's rewind. Let's, let's stop this. That means you don't like cake? No, eggs by themselves are mid. Ah, mm. see that? Mm. Mm. What do you eat for breakfast? I don't eat breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. I haven't eaten today. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's interesting. I need to go feed my wife. <laughs> that's true as well, actually. <laughs> omelets. Are you an egg fan? Do you like omelets? I fucking I don't like omelets. Whoa. But I do love eggs. <clears throat> how do you wait? How does that happen? Um the like, simplest answer is, is I really don't like food touching all that often. Oh, okay. Food you touching? like combinations of things. No, I like, oh, okay. I'm very much a purist. It's kind of why I don't like hash holes. Oh. I'm not against like, them. You like them separately. But if I could have my pick, I would much rather take a bong rip and a dab than smoke a hash hole. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay, so you'd good. rather have eggs that. by themselves than mixed with a bunch of other omelets. Yeah, like, you know, some hash browns on the side with some rice and some veggies with some scrambled eggs. I like that. Money. You want me to do like an omelet? Where it's um, all mixed together yeah, and I get fuck. no choice of when I want which consistency at what time. Like, I'm a big boy, okay? I can assemble my food <laughs> in my mouth all by myself. Thank you. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, you're so picky. Like, no, I just, I may have control problems. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Back to fun things rather than my problems. I fuck with omelets, man. I fuck with omelets. I'm sorry, guys. And they're supposed to like omelets. I think most people like omelets. I think I'm the problem. Interesting. Do you like omelets? You don't like eggs. I'm sorry. Do you like omelets? I'm fucking omelets. Yeah, I'm the problem. Again. Okay, that's fine. 
Episode yeah, 45? Do we like omelets? <laughs> yeah. The omelet episode, man. The omelet crisis. I, I think I would eat eggs only. The only way I like is like maybe with like uh, chorizo or... Oh, okay. What about a... Uh, like maybe eggs benedict. Oh. I was gonna Other say. than that, everything else can like... I feel like eggs benedict is very eggy. That's like the most egg you can get, you know? Agreed. Like You're like 10 out of 10 in the eggs. I mean, you could have like... Your egg deep. Like a... F- Yo, deep egg. Shh. I can only imagine. If my favorite meal requires eggs, so it's hard for me not to like eggs. What's your favorite meal? Loco Moco. It's oh, like this with dish. the hamburger yeah, yeah, meat yeah, yeah. kind of yeah, thing, so the like gravy. Steamed rice, gravy, or steamed rice, hamburger patty, gravy, eggs. And it's the yeah, I've had best. That. that sounds good. That sounds, uh, yeah. oh, I, I didn't mind it. Didn't mind it. I think I what's your them. favorite dish, Timothy? Favorite dish? I don't know. Hmm. I was like, I was going to ask my wife, what's my favorite dish? <laughs> <laughs> what do I like? <laughs> I don't know nothing about myself. Please what do I me. like? <laughs> nah, it's, 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 it's probably Mexican food. Nice. Assembled in any way. Any it could way. be tacos. It could be burritos. It's a taco. It could be fucking. A taco. It's nice. a taco for sure. It could be, it could be any of them. Yeah, it's a taco for sure. The fuck? No, that was very John Wayne of you. Like <laughs> <a taco>. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's good stuff. What's yours? Yeah. Gonna have to go like real bloodline here. I think like a nice bowl of pho. You said real bloodline. <laughs> oh, it's like Jesus. My, I was born with like chopsticks in my hand and shit. I was born with these things. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking good. You felt it though, dude. You felt with it. With the loco moco. I'm, not gonna, lie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I totally get it. Like I just like the chopsticks part was more the part that like hurt me. Oh yeah. I was bad at chopsticks as a kid and I'm the oh, only white way. kid in my family. Mm. So like they like told me it was because I was white that I couldn't use chopsticks. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Dude, Dude, like, siblings are awesome. Bro, welcome <laughs> to Hawaii, man. Things are a little rough out there in these streets. <laughs> but like I'm exceptional with chopsticks now because like I consider it a skill I needed to have. Like nice. you had to train. Like so like when you're like, yeah, I was born with chopsticks in my hand, I was like, Yeah, of course you were, bro. And you weren't cursed like me. I was cursed with a fork in my hand. The worst. I had to learn. <laughs> with Sorry. a little rubber bands at the top. Oh, no, no. That, dude, that wasn't it. That wasn't around yet. No they had way. like that. They had like this plastic one that came out with like a weird M in the middle of it. <laughs> and they're like, ah, oh, why do I have this? But like nobody had figured out the simplicity of the rubber band <laughs> and the. You had to have this like gaudy, ugly thing <laughs> that showed that you didn't know what you were doing. It's like, what the fuck? It was very John Wayne of people. Very, yeah. very, very John Wayne. Very John Wayne. I think that's episode 45, everybody. Ooh. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Any uh, closing thoughts over there, Timmy? I mean, that was an amazing episode. Love having Barney on here. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to, you know, hit up uh, King Palm. Use the code Pine Park and uh, get yourself a nice little discount, man. They got some good products. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing time. Barney, where can they find you at, man, if they want to see a little bit more of Barney on their feeds and in their lives? Ooh. Uh, easiest one is Barney has the blueprint on IG, uh, but check out, we're going to have YouTube popping up at some point soon. Ooh. I got shaky hands still, but we're going to get better at this. I love it. I love it, man. Getting better every day. That's the motherfucking goal. I'll see you guys next week for episode 46. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to stay high. Peace. Later.